What up, everybody? This is Ray Dangs, a.k.a. The Culture Referee. You already knew that, but what you didn't know about I bet is a new distribution company called Two Loss Distribution. They're the most technologically advanced distributor in the world. They distribute your music to more stores than any distributor out there, and they only charge you $3 a month. Yep, $3 a month. And they don't charge you any money to collect your royalties, so you get 100% of your royalties. Y'all know how some of them distribution companies be asking for, you know, it's distribute with us, but they take 20%. These guys don't take any of that. They charge $3 a month to distribute all your music. And if you use the code GODS, which is on being the bottom of the screen, when you add your discount code, you get three months free. So if you're looking for distribution, you need distribution, you're looking for the best distribution company to work with, Two Loss is the fastest growing distribution company out there. Mess with them. Tell them Ray sent you. You will get some money off. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tamara, a.k.a. Girl from Harlem. And this is Ray Daniels, a.k.a. The Culture Referee. <laughs> and this is The God Show. Woo! And we are here with a very, very, very close friend of mine. You can't say three berries. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why I say what I said. You only can say two. You see how your voice is changing? I'm just saying. See what I'm you, saying? That's why okay, I'm trying to tell y'all. But we was talking about something online. Okay, Don't worry okay. about it. But we're here with a very good friend of mine, <laughs> uh, someone I've been knowing for a very long time. Uh, it's weird because I actually know her from the music business. Like, I don't know her from the way most people know her. I know her from being Timbaland, signed to Timbaland, right? Yes. That's how I met Lyrica, signed to Timbaland. And um, yeah, we have Lyrica Anderson here. Woo! Let's go. Is that. What's up, y'all? No, I got a question. Go ahead, Tamira. I'm okay. going to just jump in. Go ahead, Tamira. So, you grew up in a music family, right? Your mom was um, a singer and you grew up in LA, right? Yes. Um, what was your childhood like growing up in that? Did you think that you had to go straight into the music industry? Did what did they kind of try to keep you out of the music industry? What was that like? Mm, my mom, yeah, is in the industry. So is a singer, songwriter, all around artist, entertainer, traveled with everyone, like incredible. So of course, growing up, you want to be like your mom, mm -hmm. like especially as a daughter. So I definitely would be like, oh my gosh, mom, like <laughs> in the studio, you're so amazing. I hope I can sing. And then slowly we started realizing that I could. So I knew that was what I wanted to do really young. A what singer? You? Yes. So you started as a songwriter um, opposed to being an artist. Mm -hmm. um, what made you go that route instead of saying, you know what, I want to be right in front of the camera? What made you kind of... Pull the mic a little closer, we don't, we don't mind. Go ahead, go right there. I had um, this manager uh, at the time. What was his name? She ended up getting re really sick. Um, and she, that's the only reason that she wasn't managing me anymore because we had a really good relationship. And she had a connection with Disney and Disney wanted, was like, we love what we heard that she's written. Like, I guess they were called demos. I don't know if they're still called demos, but they're like <laughs> scratches of the, my writing. And she thought I was incredible. She's like, I want to take a meeting with her. So she got me my first publishing deal. Oh, wow. And so when I saw, like, the money in that and just, like, writing for other people, I was like, I could be behind the scenes and stack bread. Why not? But, yeah. What's the difference between writing a song for yourself and writing your song, a song for someone else? When it's for yourself, I feel like you do sometimes overthink. Mm. I feel like sometimes I, I feel like I overthink <laughs> when it's for myself. I wanted to do it more for myself and not so much just for everyone else. When I started wanting to keep songs, like when I would write it and then kill it, for, uh, just like for the scratch for them, and then I would hear it back. I'd be like, I started getting attached to some of the records. Hold on, I'm gonna have to keep. I was this like, one. damn, this is my story. I wrote my story. I'm really going through this. I want to like. Put it out because it's true to me. So I would get attached because it's like an emotional thing. And so that's when I wanted to be an artist. So you didn't want to be an artist always? I mean, kind of, but I was just going with the flow of life, you know, whatever came first. What was the hardest thing in transitioning to being an artist, like putting yourself out there and kind of... Just stepping? like the demands and the expectations. When you're a songwriter, you could be your sweats, sweatshirt, bright, and it's all good. It's not expected. Like, oh, what do you look like and how... You know, your imperfections and what you're doing wrong. And, like, you know, it's not so much pressure. Like, it's just different. I want to go back a little bit. So you're in L.A. in high school, right? Mm -hmm. um, what was your high school experience like? What music was out back then? Who were your influences? Just give me a little bit about high school, you. 
Um, my favorite music period overall altogether is nineties. Nineties like R and B. Prince fan. Nineties R and B. Yeah, nineties R and B. Anything like nineties Aaliyah, like all this. So just what I would grow up here. My mom play too. Um, and then high school was cool. I've always been the shy girl. Mm. Yeah, so it was like I was popular without necessarily trying to be, but I was always like shy. I didn't want to argue with nobody. I was like almost a little bit like too passive mm. and when i started getting like older i was like hey, you got me fucked up do you think but the passiveness hurt you i think it made me have a chip on my shoulder when i became like a grown woman because then i was like determined to let people know like i will defend myself it wasn't that i would never defend myself it was i didn't understand anybody having a problem with me because i didn't do nothing <laughs> i'd be chilling That's real and i'm still energy. like that like i'd be chilling That's i don't bother nobody energy uh, whatever I'm just saying it. yeah do. Sagittarius the best sign in the zodiac uh -oh. like what do you mean <laughs> and a period and I didn't want no problem so it's just like I just be chilling so that's the only like but that's just growth you know I think when you're in high school what you're 13 14 15 16 years old so it's like every you're finding yourself still so yeah at what age did you write your first song young like 12 and 13. what inspired that song like what were you going through and you were like I got to get a piece of paper and write this down. I and remember my mom, she used to tell me, she's like, all this stuff you feel inside and that you're feeling, you should like write about it. And I just started doing that. So That's the amazing. first song, what was it about? Uh, that I don't remember okay. necessarily. The first, first song ever. I mean, I don't know, probably Love Girl. Probably my crush. Yeah, that's Little boy <laughs> crush at the time. What's his name? I don't know. Probably Matt. I liked white boys growing up. She said a curse word. Just we just we just right. separated the uh, we just <laughs> <Okay>. separated. <laughs> Tamara's right, like Matt. now Tamara's not gonna ask no more music questions. White men, right? No, like, a white no, man, no. like. <laughs> and it's funny because I've never dated a white boy before. Good. I just did it when I was like a little. You know, I liked them when I was a little girl. White men don't hit on me, so it's all good. I don't even go places where I can meet white guys, but I would try it if it's yeah, a little swag was right. Mm. So. Um, you, you're in the music industry. You have to put together your team, right? You got to figure out who's going to support you, who's going to have your back. Um, who, what team did you put together? Who did you have on your team? Like lawyers, where did you get them from? And what qualities were you looking for when you were putting your Ooh, team together? Girl, that's a lot. Sorry. Okay. Um, the manager that I told you that helped me get my first publishing deal, shout out to Michelle Osborne, <laughs> um, was... She helped me put together my team. I don't remember how we necessarily met. I was like, it was a long time ago. Um, I think everything is relationships. So most of the people I've met has been it just like Ray. Just met him. with uh, He's met me. He remembers with Timberland. But I don't even know if that's how we first met because we met a million times. So I think it's just like building relationships. Stuff like that. So um, you said that. You put the demo out. Um, we got you your publishing deal. From there, how did you start working with Timbaland, and what were the next steps in your career kind of look like after that? Well, I didn't ever put a demo out. I just would record. I had someone tell me, if you want to be a songwriter, write a lot of songs and keep them and record yourself and just keep them. So I did that. So I probably had like 100 songs. <laughs> um, and then chop them, or that's how you'll get like your music out. And it, and it happened. Um, what's the other thing? When did you meet A1? <laughs> I'm like, I want to talk about A1. I want to talk about when she started. Who? Right. We don't know what you're what? talking about. I want to talk about, she wrote, her husband was in music business too. I'm wondering, did they meet I'm before or after? There. I was trying. I'm just saying though. I, you, know is, you know what it is? You know what it is? I know Lyric is so good. I know Lyric is so good. I'm just wondering like, because I met her with him. So I, I, from my perspective, I thought that they were like, they came in the game as a songwriting team. Is that what you thought? I swear I did. <laughs> is that what you okay. thought? Okay, so, so hit me out real quick. So let me tell you why. Because mm -hmm. I, I want to paint the picture. You meet, all right, you meet, the reason I asked about being passive was because she knows this. In this business, you can't be passive and be successful. You know that. Yeah, and I, I said was. She that's, said that's high what, school. That's what, but that's why I said, what did it hurt you? Because you can't be passive, mm -hmm. right? And you also can't be passive and be a woman in this business. No. You'll get... You see what I'm saying? So when you walk in a room and you see a woman, naturally the first thing you're trying to figure out is who she with. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm saying like you've been doing this shit. Like who she with? And then you be like, oh, she's with this guy. That's a man. So it's like, are they a songwriting team? I met him as a songwriting team. I thought, right? I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I met you as a songwriting team. So I was just wondering like how that happened. 
Kyle don't know that story. Um, how that happened? You were so funny. We uh, we uh, met. We hooked up. We got together. We both were incredible. on some music shit. Uh, yeah, we met at a session. Uh, we both were incredible songwriters. So then, I mean, I had more, you know, going and a name and stuff. He kind of was newly getting his Ooh. feet wet in it. No, not no shade. It's true. Matter of fact, I was signed to Timberland. I had a lot more like under Because I met belt. you signed to Timberland, but y'all yeah, was together I was when I met Timberland, you. Yeah, I signed to Timberland, and that's when I met him. And he was kind of getting his feet wet with it more, but I thought he was really dope. So we just started like going to sessions together. And that's it. Um, since we're already here, dating within the industry, how do you, as a female, separate yourself and not kind of be what Ray says? By the way, that's why, I'm giving, that's why shadow. I'm giving her credit. That's why, that's why I always tell Lyrica, she always carried herself like a woman that was there by her business. Always. I always say that, right? I always, she always carried herself like she was by her business. And I know her. So I'm always looking at her like, like in, in my position, you see people and you like, man, that motherfucker about to get ran over. Or you, you know, you laugh because it's true. Or you see people, you be like, oh, man, that dude, attitude, going, he going to have some issues. So when I saw you, I was like, man, she just, she's so nice. She's just like a good person. Like, how the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But she was also talented. Like, they knew she was talented, but I was just like. My nice, my mean is as extreme as my nice. Mm. Balance. So I'm very, I am nice because I'm, I was raised right. You know, I'm cool. I be chilling. But. You know, it's one of those like, oh, this is what we doing. I will match your energy. Really? Easy. Love and match energy. Yeah, and I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a fire sign. So it's just like, play with me if you want to type vibes. Do you feel like because um, who your partner was, it kind of overshadowed your musical abilities? Do you ever think it hindered you at any point? You know, I don't know. I think we did some some cool stuff together. But yeah, it's just hard when you mix love with, you know, relationships with music and then, like, you know, and they're in the studio and, like, uh, you have two talented people. And then you have somebody telling you, like, well, don't sing it like this. And we would kind of argue. Who would tell you that? We would argue over stuff like so that. So he would produce you? Sometimes. When we were doing, like, Got a song you. together. And I'm like, no, 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 this should be like this. Or I feel like it might should be more edgy or less this or, you know, stuff like that. So hindered me? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. So when you, not just him just when you're working with anybody in particular and you feel a certain way about a song and they kind of have opposing opinions about it how do you find that middle ground and do you kind of back down do you trust them to have the vision how do you as an artist figure out i try to trust them to have the vision if i'm already working with you but i will still have like a say so because i've written a lot of stuff and done some dope things so i feel like i know what i'm talking about too but i'm not like bullheadish like it has to be my way. Like I'll when I'm writing with someone, I like to like really co-write. Does it? Did it ever get competitive? Not for me ever. Because for what? If that's your partner, then you win together. Anyways, why next subject? Can I say? Let me say. So the reason why I say that is because, first of all, lyric is family. But I always feel like this show is for dreamers. This show is for people who are like. I'm trying to get out there. And I think a huge problem being a woman is being a woman in the business. And how do you navigate that? And you have. So I'm just asking you, how, if some girls listening, like, girl, how did you navigate that shit? <laughs> no, it's, it, it is hard to do. That's what I'm because saying. Because you naturally start, you just argue over dumb stuff. Like, well, I, I thought it should be like this. You're not listening to me in a lot of, like, push and pull. Do you feel like your voice was devalued a little bit because you are a female? Sometimes, yeah. And how do you overcome that? Like, do you get somebody and be like, listen to this, and this is what I think, and this is what I think. What do you think? Like, how do you stick up for yourself in a room full of men? I think Nikki was right when she said, like, now I don't remember her exact wording, but I feel like she's basically saying, Nicki Minaj was basically saying something along the lines like, if a woman defends herself or she speaks up, now she's a bitch. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that because it's like, you have to have an opinion. Like, nowadays, girls are taking control over their careers and doing really well. Yes. So it used to be where it's, like, the man's behind it or you need him to tell you ABC. And it's like, I just know what I want. Like, I came out here and I'm raised, like, come out here. We're going to work. We got things to do. And I came and it's just like, I'm just in a place where, I like, I really know what I want. Even in, like, relationships, everything. Like, I know what I want. So I'm just, like, going for what I want and I feel like I deserve. So if a young girl was trying to be in the music business, what would you tell her? What would you tell 18-year-old Lyrica? She was sitting right here. What would you say to her? It's going to be, it's, 
it's just like everybody's journey is different. Some people it's quicker. Some people take longer. You know, just not to give up. And not to give up, really? Yeah, I mean, I be wanting to give up sometimes just for on the strength of like, it just comes with a lot of personalities and people pleasing and like the stuff you're nah, talking about. I'm like, no, I like that. Go into it. Why? When do you want to give up? When or what? Like when you said, I want to give up. Like I ain't gonna lie, I want to quit twice a week. Sometimes, <laughs> yes, I be wanting to give up a lot. I just told Jay, my best friend here, that a couple of days ago, I don't want to do this anymore. Why? Because it's just a lot. Like, wanting to reach a certain level of success and, like, putting in so much work, uh, not feeling like you get back sometimes what you put out or what you give, you know, it's tedious. You'll have to sit on the phone with the editors and getting things right and frustration that people don't just get your vision when it doesn't seem difficult. And it's just, like, it's just a lot. It's hard. That's why. I want to quit, quit twice a week. I want to quit this week. <laughs> it ain't done yet, though. I was about to say, we got to hold of this. <laughs> no, actually, actually, sometimes I want to Because the hard part is, the, hard, the, people, the part they don't tell you, I always tell people this. I'm like, people think being successful is hard. It's really not hard being successful. It's hard being successful when you're surrounded by motherfuckers that don't want what you want mm -hmm. and don't understand what you want. Mm -hmm. And want to stand in the way of what you want. And now, instead of, now you have to get them on the same page with you. So it's like, I got to make sure that this is okay. And I got to, and it's like, all of this is like, and then here's the hard part for us. This is the hardest part of my personal life. Is everybody thinks because I'm doing it, I'm having fun. Mm. So like, if you're in the studio, it's like, you're just in the studio with men. Yes. and y'all. It's like, no, I'm really yeah. in here working. Yeah, it's not all like glitz and glams like people think. And then it's like, then, it, yeah. And then this whole, like, the body thing and everybody wants to be perfect and have this and look like that. And you always got to look happy and upbeat. And then if somebody get on the Internet crying, then it's like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be happy every day. And it's like, no. Who told you that? They're human. Well, I, see, the internet. I, I disagree with that. Like, I, I hate that part of the music business. I, I, I believe if you pay attention to what's working right now, what's working is authentic people. Mm -hmm. You got to be authentic. You the old music business, I remember I was interviewing an artist, this is years ago, and I remember I just was like, I, I, I'll tell you what we get off, but I remember just looking at him and I was like, this nigga not gonna be a star for long. Cause every answer felt like it was, a, it was somebody told him to say that. How do you feel about this? Well, that's great. How do you feel about that? Well, that makes me happy. Well, what do you think about this? Well, that's them. And it's like, if you pay attention to what's working now, what's working is people being themselves. People have access too much access that's the hard part whether you could hide behind a veil i was just having a conversation um when i was in new york with somebody and we were talking about that and i was he was like do you think that that person would be a star before social media world and this world and i'm gonna be honest with y'all there are some superstars right now that only became superstars because they did not have to do social media they came before the cutoff period like, it's some motherfuckers, you like, that's, and I, another thing that exposed it was the pandemic exposed it, too. Because the pandemic, everybody was at home, so you had to find a way to turn the camera on and entertain mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And then I think that the, the talent has dwindled away, yeah. and the stars started shining. But you don't have to be perfect. Whoever told you that, they don't know what they're talking about. You just got to be yourself. Yeah, being yourself. I mean, that's funny. Me and Teron were just talking about that in the room. Teron is the, Teron's the, the GOAT. He is the goat. He's the goat. It's the goat right there. He's the goat. Yeah, we were talking about just exactly that, about being yourself and how, like, in my music, I have to talk about some vulnerable stuff before my project is done. I can't just be like, okay, there's a love making song or sex record. Here's this, is that. But we got to get down to telling some of the business. Well, I can't help it. Can I say something? Can I jump in? Oh, can I speak bro. now? He about to say something. No, shit. for real. This is why you should talk about the relationship. See, here's the thing. Let me tell you why. You did the same thing. No, hear me out. You could I be just, more than a relationship. No, hear me out. I'm t listen, man. If it's one thing I know how to do, is I know how to make a fucking winner. You're absolutely. And the right. reason why I know how to make a winner is because I am human. And if I see you talking and I don't believe you, I'm not, if I believe you're not being real, I'm not going to embrace you. But if I see you talking and I feel like you're being real, I'm going to embrace you. All humans are like that. So what I'm saying is, is that you should not be afraid. Let's look. It's only one female artist right now, female R&B artist right now, and y'all can tell me if I'm wrong, that's working purely on music. And that's her. Name a female artist that's killing it right now that we not in their business. Name one. 
Almost had one, but name one. Name a female artist. Y'all can talk. Name a female artist right now that's killing it that we not in their business. We don't know who they fucking. We don't know what that person did. We don't know what they did to them. Name an artist. Am I tripping? Who? Coco Jones is a good one. Coco Jones. One. That's Coco, a good one. Great. Coco Jones can walk in here right now, no disrespect to her, and no, you wouldn't know her. She hasn't sold a million records. I'm saying, and I promise you for her to sell a million. And here's another thing about Coco Jones, and also some defense to her, is that her was known as, as who she was before she became her, and Coco Jones was on a hit TV show. Mm -hmm. So they have something else to attach themselves to. Something like Drake. Drake was attached to a TV show. I'm speaking about artists. And one thing about me, and Lyrica knows this about me, like, I don't, I don't bullshit. I remember when I first sat with Lizzo and she was pissed off. And I was like, embrace that shit. Embrace being pissed. Because guess what? There's somebody who's pissed. There's a girl out here right now that has been loyal to the wrong nigga. And she wants to press play for a nigga she was with. Can I tell you a funny story? Let me hear it. <laughs> Can I tell you how I know what I know? So I broke up with a young lady a long oh time ago. That's how I learned about how important music was to women. Broke up with a young lady a long time ago. Long time ago. And she had some shit of mine. And I was like, can I get my shit back? And she was Maybe like, not. yes, but you're going to meet me and you're going to listen to a song. <laughs> and I was like, so, you know, me, I'm a guy. We guys. Guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Listen to a song. And <laughs> I swear to God, she sat me in the car. And, you know, I'm, I'm a Virgo. We, 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 we know nonsense. We ain't got time. We like, hey, what's up? What the fuck is up? We, we, we know nonsense. And she sat me in the car, and she played Beyonce Resentment. Love it. And she sat in the car, and I was in the passenger seat, and she played that song, and she stared at me the whole time while Damn. I was staring fake, straight and <laughs> cried. And she cried? Like, literally. Aww. And I was trying to get out the car, and she grabbed the car. You're going to listen to you, and give me this. You're going to listen to this song. And she made me listen to Beyonce Resentment. You broke her heart. But the point is this. point is this. Beyonce, Beyonce made her not feel alone. Mm -hmm. That's why it works. Wow. That's why we love music. We like to know That's that somebody to tell else about is music. going through like, what we're we, going we, through. We, like, we, it's not just we me. We are. I'm not the only exactly. Dumb music right. is kind of our confirmation that it's not just us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why when artists want to come out and speak about something that it's like, I don't want to talk about that. Like, well, why not? You're an artist. We want you to. You, you, not only are you an artist, you're a hero. You're a hero. There are women right now who are fucking depressed, who are hurt, who feel like they ain't got nobody who's looking at you right now saying if she pulled through it, so can I. Amen. So that's why I think people fuck with me because I'm not afraid to be emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, I didn't have love growing up as a kid. That's, it's cool. I got over it. It's like I didn't have certain shit, but I got over it. And I think people want to just feel like they're not alone in the world. That's why all these mass shootings are happening and all these others happening because people are tired of feeling like everybody's happy except me. Yep. And then here comes Kill Bill, and everybody's like, yes, I felt that before. And what I'm saying is, is that, but it, it has to be authentic to you. That's why I encourage, by the way, if cameras wasn't here, Jay knows, Lyrica's my friend. I would tell her the same thing. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Because a lot of the times, you're so afraid to tell her, because we don't want to be seen or feel like we're naked and everybody knows, but they know. I don't think it's a lack of not wanting to talk about it because she clearly talks about it, right? She got songs about it. She's Thank putting you. it on paper. It's more like wanting one to separate your identity yeah. and talk about, like, you don't have to, we could talk about it without talking about it. Like, so, like, Just how do me, you break down? Tell me how. I watch right now. Um, so when you're writing a song, right, how do you break down your walls of being vulnerable? How do you get into that process of, okay, I have to put something on paper. What does that look like for you? So, again, me and Teron was just having this conversation. This is so crazy. It's like repeat in the sense of I was just telling him because we were talking about, you know, work and music. And I was like, I love to put it down on paper, everything I'm going to and going through and went through in the last two years. And I told him all my business. Mm -hmm. So that's how I do it. And like I like for the listeners to hear that. And then they do feel like they're connected. Like I had so many girls DM me when I wrote Marriott. Because they're like, oh, my gosh, you were able to leave your relationship. How did you do it? And you went and stayed at the Marriott. Look, look the hotel I'm in. I left, too. Now, I wasn't oh, trying wow, to make everybody amazing. leave their girl, their <laughs> man. But some girls were hitting me like, "I look at me. I've been abused. And right. I, because of you, I had Shit. the strength to leave. And pictures and, like, all. So 
it's touching. Like, so that's the way I like to talk about my I, By the way, I agree. But once you talk about it, they're going to ask you about it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't think Usher Confessions is as big as an album if he dropped it in 2023. Because we found out 10 years later, it wasn't even about his story. But in 2023, that was the tea. We would have known who the girl is yep. from them shade room motherfuckers and and ball alert. They would have been like, look at the picture of the, when I found out that um Summer Walker was there, and they was like the I was like, how who the fuck has time to say <laughs> that's the picture, the shirt in the camera the and this and the reflection? The who has time? But in today's world, they access has to be granted. Mm -hmm. Yes, like like I, I. So let me say this. So let me ask you this. I will, I, I, and I, and I wish that we had like a forum because I like talking to people. But if you think about it like this, how many girls? Why was there a point in time where we're more interested? Moneybag Yo, Moneybag Yo has three or four artists signed to him right now. You know who they are. I'm trying so hard to think of one. <laughs> but let me ask you a question: Who's I know he dating? Where you going? I knew that. Damn, why do we see. have? But because we're not interested in your business no more. We're interested in you and what you're doing. We're not interested in your business no more. Like. Like, the reason why it works when Beyonce does it, dog, I, I say this on the show all the time. We had a song on Lemonade. We, we did all night. Mm -hmm. I was just happy we was on the Beyonce album. And then I'm like, what? women are stopping what they're doing to watch this documentary. And I'm like, you know me, I'm a man. I'm not interested in that. I'm a man. Like, I'm, I, I, see the world, I see through Jay's eyes. I'm like, damn, I wonder how Jay feel about all this <laughs> shit. That's how I'm looking at it, right? And then we watching it, and then... I said, um, and then t I was like, yo, what's this album? Why, why did she name my album Lemonade? I thought it was some New Orleans Creole shit. And he was like, when well, life gives you lemons. And I was like, that's why she's the best artist in the world. That's why it works. Because she is not a, her husband is probably the top three or four famous black man in the world. And if she was in the old school, she would have been like, I'm not telling my business to expose yeah, him. That's true. Think about it. But that's now true. you got to you gotta tell people. And guess what Jay has to do? Woke up at 4.44 in the morning and realized I was about to lose my wife. And he had to get vulnerable. And that's what makes the world love you. The world loves you because they see themselves in you. Speaking of vulnerability, you went on reality TV, right? Oh. Um, do you think that putting yourself out there um, had an effect on the relationship that you had at the time? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you think that moving forward, so now I think you're currently going through a divorce, right? Mm -hmm. Um, are you, do you make music in it or do you wait a while and then reflect and then make the music? Both. I'll do it later. Like if I'm busy with like a bunch of other stuff and then I got to get to it later, then I will. But it's the emotion's still there. It might not be as heavy, but it's still there. Oh yeah. I will have to do it right then. I got to I say, my and back. I say, and I say this to any couple. I, I prefer to do it right then. Cause then it's more vulnerable. Like Every, real, that raw. Anytime right, a couple. Eye. Every time a couple gets on reality, and I told us the lyric, I think we talked talk about it, we laughed about this. Anytime a couple gets on reality TV, oh God, they, he's gonna, he you know what I said, right? Yeah. They are selling the soul of the relationship. They are selling the soul of the relationship. They, ha they are, because it's, it's hard to come back from it. Like, because let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Lyric is a beautiful girl, right? Now, Thanks. everybody sees her. Mm hmm. Now it's men looking at him going through shit with her and it's like, I want I that. You better. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. So now dudes who would have never looked at us in her DMs now. Now that's cool. You wanna know why that's cool, guys? Why? Because there are always <laughs> gonna be guys in her DM. Every woman has guys in their DM. Now the problem happens <laughs> when, she's when girls go in his DM. <laughs> Cause he's not used to that. Here y'all go. No, I'm being honest oh, with you. He's not used to that. Us. Huh? Like, oh yeah, yeah. The attention that you like. Like women getting. have been getting attention yeah. since they was a little girls. Like, yeah. you, it's always a boy that likes you. Mm -hmm. Men, on the other hand, we have to work for attention. So now you're on TV, so they want you, but you got a girl. Yeah. And now you like, it's like, it's like now he look in the mirror and he's like, damn, I can pull this off. And I, by the way, I don't know nothing about what happened. I don't get into that. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying in general, the minute that you sign up for TV is the minute that you saying, money is more important than our relationship. And that's just a fact, because if you we were, were, I wasn't, we were not you. I, I'm, like I'm just saying this. <laughs> what I always say, no, no, I won't be because because my I think I said this to Lyrica when I saw Lyrica on uh, Love and Hip Hop. I was a little mad. Cause I'm like, nigga, you really talented. No, this is, that was fucked up. No, it wasn't. I'm saying you're really talented. You're right Love and Hip Hop is a place where the big personalities with less talent go. Mm -hmm. I like that. Right? You really are talented. Like you really. 
can be up there with those girls. Thank you. And I believe that. If I didn't, I wouldn't even be here talking to you. I believe that. But you have to find, you have to somehow figure out how to bring that together because people want to know. Like, that's why I, want, I, that's why I did what I did. That's what makes real. That's what can make reality TV addicting when you're in it and when you're watching from both perspectives. And the reason being is because you're right. Like you get so caught up and like now you're being open and vulnerable, like you're saying to be about your relationships. And then people are letting you know that they love that and you're helping them. So now you keep doing it and you keep doing it. But y'all, and then but you're y'all, on TV y'all every like, Monday night or whatever night it was. And it's like constant. So not only are you staying relevant without even trying aside from everything and then da 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 it's just like it's crazy. Now and like dog, I guarantee you if anybody talked to Blueface right now and said, Would you if you could do it again, would you have put her your girl in the public eye? I guarantee you say nah. Cause what cause, cause no, I'm serious. I mean like it's hard. He wouldn't man. be relevant if it wasn't for that either. So Hold on, what? To. I'm not going into it. Hold on, what you say? <laughs> No, what you said, I want to hear it. Blueface didn't have, um, what's her name, and they wasn't running around doing all their shenanigans right now. Nobody would be talking about Blueface. No, he would be, because he would be focused on making music rather than. He he has a hit song. No, no, hit me out real quick. Because now when you're on TV as a couple, now they booking a couple. Now we want y'all. No, but something about their story is interesting in a weird way. It's like you do want to know what's going to happen. You feel bad. Can I tell you what's interesting? No, can I tell you what's interesting? I can tell you what's interesting. The car crash. I can yeah. tell you what's interesting. Everybody sees this girl who obviously has some mental health. Oh, don't start that. She's fine. She went to college. She ran track. She, she was. She is. She's. She's a okay. This yeah. is all she speaks and guess, proper. And guess, and guess how? Guess how? Guess how proper. I saw her for the first it. time. Like she was a, sucking a somebody's toe in a skirt. She was sucking somebody's toe with a missing tooth. That sounds like a crackhead. If I don't tell y'all that. it's... <laughs> It wasn't somebody. No. It was her man. Who cares? Right. You, you, no one. That's no one wants to see you get that happening. That that puts a taste in people's mouth. Why mm-hmm. she can't suck her man toes? She she could and she should. Yeah. But why are you putting it on Instagram? Why not? That's her man. Well, there you go. Yeah. Right. Well, Scott, that was a question. Scott, we have the answer to the world. Why they're interested in who the rapper's girlfriend is than who the rapper has signed I'm to them. I'm not with nobody. I mean, I don't necessarily, I don't suck toes, but. It's okay if you did. Don't do that. Right. No, it's other don't things. Talk, don't speak against that. It's, it's okay if you did. It's better things to suck than toes. <laughs> huh? I like that one. It's you better s- things to suck than toes. I get it. I agree. You I definitely agree that? with that. But I'm just saying, you know? I saw this girl sucking the dude's toe with a tooth with a tooth missing. And I'm like, who the, f- I'm not being, I'm not being mean. I'm telling you a fact. She is unapologetically her. And and but that's here's the thing. What I love but can I tell you something though? Everybody knows that we're hoping that she pulls through. And dog, she punched somebody on the red carpet. She punched a girl on the red carpet and was like, yeah, this is what I like, bro, bro, I'm being honest with you. That type of shit should not be celebrated. But we do. So are we gonna start blaming the TV networks, like at some point, Zeus and VH1 has to be held no, accountable. No, 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 it's not the TV network fault. It's not the TV stories. network fault. No, it's not them. That's you're like giving blame, them the platform. That's like blaming labels for putting out gangster music. The label, it's the, it is the consumer fault. Okay. And guess what? Go. It is not the male consumer fault because oh, men, men don't Why watch that. Why would be the male consumer? Yeah. Men don't and watch that. No, you did it. Yes, they do. So you, did you, are you watching it? I, does any man in here have the Zeus network on their phone? So how do you, you know about not. all that? Because of Instagram. I just said it. I saw it on Instagram. Here's my point. My point. Listen. So you're still watching one way Here's my thing. Right. Here's my thing. My they thing is this. They're sitting there with the girls. Bruh. Bruh. Let me tell you something about people. girlfriends watching it. goes it back to, see, see, this is why I'm good at what I do. Let me tell you something about people. We go to movies to watch the main character start off strong and end up, start off strong, go through some shit and end out on the other side better. That's what we watch movies for. We watch movies knowing the, we watched my, my, we was watching Little Mermaid and my daughter was like, it was a part where they was doing all this crazy stuff on a movie. And my daughter was like, no, I don't want to see them hurt her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Miyoki, she's going to come out on the other side better. How do you know? Because that's how every movie ends. Right. That's my point. Why do we watch movies? Because we want to see people come out. Nothing will make us happier. All of us are seeing her and him together or separately come out better, stronger, richer, everything. We all want that. We all want that, yeah. but there's a fucking train wreck that we wanted to see you go through first. Because let me tell y'all something. Pop up rich out of nowhere. Pop up happy. <laughs> name an artist, name a female artist, black artist that came in the room, came in the game, happy. Oh, we, we don't want, we want to see you happy. happy after we see you go through some shit. 
true. I know it's that true. That is true because one thing I could say, a lot of my comments consist of, oh my gosh, you're glowing now. You look so much happier. A lot of DMs say, who's your new man? Because you look happier now. Wow, you've been through so much. We're so happy. There's even like something going around on TikTok with me showing like all the snippets of love and hip hop of me crying, going through my relationship. And it's like, it's true. It's a lot of people rooting for Lyrica Anderson to, to come out on top after what I went through. Because I went through hell. And can I tell you something? And it got worse. They don't want to see you come out on top. They want to see you. They want to push you to the or top. Or make it through. No, no. Yeah. They want to push you up. See, that's what I'm trying to get you. Fans want to. They want to help you. Like, I love Kanye West. Like, I, I, dog, he got me through so much shit in my life, bro. I don't give a. Like, if I saw a mob attacking him, I'm helping him. I'm just Bet saying that are. to say what you just said in the sense of like, that's true though. We, we want to see you have a train wreck first. I went through a lot of shit. That's why when most people ask me to do reality TV. I think I gave that enough. So let's talk about the train wrecks then. We want to go through the train wreck. Yeah, well, you, you said it got Cause you, worse. Cause you just gave me an idea for a song. But you said it got worse. Um, so when you say it got worse, you mean like after the cameras were off? Yeah, Life because you're, it's hard when you're in it and you're going through people watching you trying to save your relationship. And then when it's over, that's the mourning process. The Bishop T.D. Jakes call y'all? Huh? Did Bishop did, did you missed what I said. You said people calling trying to save the relationship. No. Oh, I thought you said. Oh, my bad. What you say? What I say? People are watching you go through the, the she, ups and downs. And, and trying to she call said it say, gets worse after. And they try to. Oh, call you, you said and what happened? Or you said what happened? And I say it's the mourning process. That's, that's what she said. Once it's over. no, no, no. But I was saying like, see, that's another thing. I, I, you can't talk to me about my relationship. You can't like I, I can. I'm imagining T.D. Jakes calling me like, "Hey Ray, I want to talk to you about your well, you're a man. Dis discretions, man? You don't get to, I, did T.D. Jakes call me? It's crazy. That's what I was asking. I'm just like it. Just feel like no. like, like I feel like Tyrese called you and said, oh, "Sister, gosh. Queen, Mother, can we talk about what you're going through?" <laughs> That's weird to me. Like it's like this is my business. Overall, um, your thoughts on doing love and hip hop was it worth it? That is like. The token question everywhere I go. And I don't know because I feel like um, everything happens for a reason. And it was a part of me sh sharing my vulnerability. So I guess, yeah, and no, though, because it also ruined. I feel like, don't, I feel like I would advise any girl that came to me like, oh, my God, me and my boyfriend are going to go and live in hip hop. I'd be like, okay, well, make sure you only want to be with him for the next year. Mm. Anybody. That just proves what I said. That, that you was so, so well so because so. now everybody's in your business, right. and now that you want them, now all the girls want them in the DMs for who maybe wouldn't have even looked twice. Has, and, have, and it's just a lot. So have now you, were there famous women trying to get at him that you found out about? You don't no. have to say who, but no, no, not that I found out about. Famous, no, just the girl that works at the Mom, conversations doesn't matter before, who she is so the conversations before you decide to go on tv right i'm not i'm, I'm saying i don't know where the bra work but right you know <laughs> ray's trying to say does she work at racetrack on 10th street no i'm just <laughs> like the mall uh, yeah some were just regular oh, please you act mall, like yes. men oh ray please men don't have standards like i say men oh, you sound like what she there. like was she this big time men singer no. No, you see me scott i'm like the mall to the Mary Carter. I'm like, I'm, please. Men cheat because it's there. It's not like they're like, no, I'm only going to cheat on my girlfriend with someone who's better than her. They're no, not going to do that. No, it's never been nobody that was like. Men don't have standards like that. No. Men We're cheat. Not even, men, not even no shade. It's boy, I'm not going to do it with you. Men cheat about. out of. Out of what? Respect. Out of accessibility because it's men there. Men cheat out of respect. Period. Out of, out of what? Did you say respect? Men cheat out of respect. I have to go. I have to go. I think, I think yeah, that's my Men cheat out of respect. Aquarius? Respect, Tamara. Can I tell you how? Oh, Aquarius. Okay. As a, as a man that has been, has a, a man who was a habitual cheater. Are you going to listen? You want to tell me? habitual cheater, do you hear? Are you I'm hear telling you why. Are you listening to this respect. Can I tell you something? He's a habitual cheater. Him. I said, he's, I used, no, don't say him. Oh, he, said, he said, as a habitual no, cheater. No, that that's was the not quote. what I said. We can run it back. I said, Can as I get a quote? As a man who was. A habitual cheater. Let's hear it. I'm yeah. saying that a lot of the times, the reason why men immature. Me, okay, so I say a lot of funny shit. Y'all know me. I'm, I'm silly. Let me just say something. As a, as a grown man who's grown now, when you look at why you did certain things, in their mind, they think they're doing things with her that they just don't want to do at home with you because it's disrespectful to do. 
Not all the time. I, I got not two. All the time. I got two men in their twenties. Oh please! Yeah. Oh please! Y'all be doing the same shit. It's not like she said, "I'm gonna suck your dick upside down and backwards," and you was like, "Oh yeah, I gotta go over there." Yeah, that's a little bit different. No, no but you're getting the same basic no, ass, say same yeah. basic. I gotta say something. Position. Can I say something? And you're just cheating see, for it because it's there. See, I wanna yeah. say something. Trying to make can it I say sound. something? You're can I say something? I got a girl here. I got backup. I I you're and that's my and that's my family. Greedy. But can I say something though? Greed. Can, can I say something it's though? No, it's greed. I listen. Let me tell you something. I could sit here and listen to y'all tell me everything about why women do what they do, and I'm going to listen. It's not greed. I'm trying to tell you, here's the thing. I might be afraid to tell my wife I want her head to hang off the bed and fuck her to her throat. I might be afraid to tell her that because she might be like, what, nigga? The fuck you been wa- who, who you been fucking with? No, 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 no. I just wanted to try. No, no, no. You motherfucker. And it's like, you know what? I get it. I could tell that girl on the streets that I want to do that, and even if she does have that reaction... I don't give a fuck. I get it, but every girl you cheat on your wife with, you're not doing having that kind of sex exactly. with. Exactly. So don't make it At seem all. like that's why you're cheating. Exactly. Once again, you're cheating because you had access to it. And you said, oh, this fuck? toy looks a little bit yeah. more How would you know? Because we I know. Yo, absolutely I talk to the, right. I'm I'm I want to ask y'all women questions. How would y'all know? I talked to a lot of women before that. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, you did, and did they you? told me the stuff they did. did and it was you? born and basic. It wasn't nothing special. What, what, what woman was born and basic? What? It Ooh. was some boring and basic <laughs> ass shit. And I was right. like, you went and did that yeah, for that? backflips and having the ball. Like, just dumb action. shit. Just boring. Nothing it's special. Same, it's the same. Whatsoever. By the way, I'm enjoying this conversation home. so much. This is so much fun. I just want y'all to know. No, I'm I, talking about I would talk to the girls because at this point they're mad. You talked to the girls that he was messing with? That he, that, yeah, I've talked to girls that he messed with before and they were mad. At this point, they're angry because... Uh, they didn't get the promise that they were promised. Okay. Whether it was like, well, I was going to help you take care of your daughter. Because men record, can't just cheat. I'm going to record a song on you. It was a lot of those. Like, I want to be a singer. He promised he was going to do my album type shit. So now they're telling me everything. Play by play details. And it was not exciting. It was not hang off the bed and fuck your mouth. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. It was saying basic it was Tamira said that. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that. It was just giving like, that's all y'all did. That's boring. Right. No. Like, you ain't even do nothing spectacular. Yeah, like at all. Huh? Men fuck for sport. Y'all dicks can't even stay oh hard gosh, long right. enough. Anyways, <laughs> but yes. See, can I say something? A side chick would never talk to a man like that. She'll be like, yes, daddy, you do. I talk and to that's all the why side chicks. We, that's why men do. I, wa- I really want to. I talked about like, five That's a well-paid side them. chick. Because let me tell you. I talked to like five or six side chicks. Did business. you hear what I just told you? Yes. We had in-depth conversations. So let me ask you a question. And they told me. Okay, can I ask and you a question? And they can't wait for their moment. And they can't wait for no, their moment. They're not, oh. not, not going to tell you the facts. They're not going to say oh, to you. Now they, you're defending. Oh, God, bye. So Ray. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, on. Oh, my God. As a Ray, man that has done a lot of shit in my life, hear me out, ladies. I've been in a lot of shit, guys. I've been you don't born. know women. When they're mad, they tell. They really tell. And I'm not saying everybody tells the truth, but first they, of all, I tell first of all, friends. my facts were backed up. My facts were backed up. I got them back. You know, we're investigators. Women, right. we're, we're detectives. FBI. So my, we're FBI. So my facts were backed up and they weren't exciting. You just have to swallow that. They were and not I exciting. Bet you, she swallowed I bet that. You, I bet you. <laughs> they were not exciting. That, right? that she was a swallowed that. Oh. I bet you a million dollars they contacted you <laughs> when you didn't contact them. Stop. Absolutely. I knew it. I knew it. They all contacted her. She didn't go contact no. them. They came to her. I'm telling you. Now, can I tell you why? Can I tell you why you're not a real nigga right now? <sighs> Let me tell you why you're not a real nigga. Because oh, she, because oh, she, she, she somehow was not the real nigga. You asked situation. me. You to have talk to about let this. me talk. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Can I tell you why she? Why you? Why, why you not a real nigga? Because if they would have called me after I got after after all of this shit went down, I would have said, "Bitch, you should have called me when you was doing it." Don't call me now complaining about the nigga now that it's over. And guess what? That's unrealistic. And guess what? That's, and then that would have made a bitch be like, damn, and she guess a what? boss. And guess what? I said that to a couple of them. My but nigga. that's not what I said. I'm going to tell you what I said. Tell what you said. I said, why you calling me now? Right. I said, you ain't call me then. Why you on my phone? You know he's married. You watch TV. You seen the show. You know he got a wife. What do you want? What do you want my phone? What, what do you want me to do about it? I talk to him just like that. I, I, just, I don't know. I just want I thought you should know. Da, da, da. Okay. Call him, bye. See, that's what I'm saying. So with that energy, I did that too, but I, I still men- will find out what I want to know. Yeah, but, that, but listen, so that I know the a demon woman I'm is not going to tell you everything until she's comfortable. A woman not going to be like, oh yeah, that day on your birthday when you say you was out there buying your present. I was giving him head. Yep, a woman yep. is not going to do that. Yes, she will. No, because she know that makes yes, her look she bad. Will. She's going to make her look bad. Oh, she, she no, watch this. A woman yes, is going to tell y'all, and he Christ. lied to me and told me this and told. She's going to make herself look good. No, I am back. a man. I have. I know women better than y'all. No, I've been, no. I've been with more women than y'all. No. <laughs> what y'all no, talking about? I could debate that. No, one. she's going to do exactly no, can, what we you can just debate. said. I've been with She's going to do exactly what you just said. She wouldn't. Which is on your birthday when you thought he was doing it. When she's ready to tell it all because she's mad because she didn't get what she wanted. She's 
telling. And their goal is that's to hurt why her these feelings. men are getting caught. They're trying to hurt her feelings. Yeah. They're trying to act like, getting, look, I was these men the are getting caught because the girl, you know, wait, hey, men. Talk. Wait. See, this is what I want. You know CJ, how? Now how she's coming out. See, can I just say something real quick, guys? This is why I love. This is why I love the God Show. Let me tell you why I love the God Show because everybody be like, so Lyrica, tell me you wrote your first song when you was thirteen. What was it called? Fuck all that. You pissed off, nigga. Get it off the chest. What you said? Now we tell us now. Take over. You the host now. Take over. Let me tell y'all the game. Don't piss your side chick off. I keep telling y'all that. You, you pay piss her. your shy, you side her. chick off. You don't do what she asks or what you promise. You pay She's her. going to contact your main and tell. It's as simple. You got to pay her. Yep. And number two, there men out there. There men out there. Even paying there men out there. There men out there. Well, eventually she's telling. Just don't cheat. The Let's first start there. Say, make eventually, sure y'all pay your side chick. Eventually she's telling. Regardless, there, let's start there. There men out there cheating is an expensive sport. Amen. That's a rich man's sport. I've been it's saying this for years. Cheating is a rich man's sport. You just shouldn't you cheat altogether. But Tamira, that's what's gonna come with it. Have you been with the broke man before, Tamira? Because um, yeah. Yes, you have. Exactly. All right. It is. I'm just saying. And the audacity of your broke ass to cheat on me. The audacity. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> I like that. Your that broke good. ass need to get in the I house. I like it. Get in the fucking house with your broke ass. You got, you got the nerve to... You call food to feed another bitch? You know how I feel about food, Ray. Don't start that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Feed another bitch? I can't feed her? Food? Food? Shit. What? This is my problem. Y'all can't just have sex and leave. Woman, we do the deed and we get out of there if we going to do it. Y'all got to sit there. Can I tell you why y'all do the deed? Y'all start doing too much. Y'all oh, don't know how to cheat see, and go see. home. Sorry, Lyric. I got to say this. We cheat and we go clean the house and go right back to Can I tell you why y'all could do that? Can I tell you why I could do that? Oh, because y'all got to gotta do too much to get the pussy, right? We do. Every man and no man in this room. Niggas. If you're a real nigga, you can put all the cards on the table and a bitch, gonna, a female's going to give you vagina either way. When the last time the cards were put on the table and you gave the vagina up? I like to know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> no, I'm saying it doesn't usually happen that way. It's like every woman say, just tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. All right, baby, look. I think you're a beautiful girl. I just really want to see what it's like to be inside of you. Motherfucker, you must think you must got me fucked. That shit don't work. Women kill. Like, this is the difference between men and women. Men are well, real. that's almost like saying, like, I just want to use you and buy. I mean, who wants that's that? That's my point. Love, I go to girl and be like, yo, yo, like, like, like um, what's your name? Like Lexi, can I ask you a question, Lexi? If a guy who you thought was attractive walked up to you and said, yo, Lexi, look, I got a wife at home. I ain't got nothing for you but some good dick, though. Like, what's up? No, you're missing a part. We That's missing my that. point. All That's right. why we lie. That's why we take them to eat. Because we got to make them... Damn. We have to. Fantasy. You got to make a fantasy. Because All right. When I first moved to Atlanta, a guy, I was talking to a guy, and I didn't know exactly what was going on, right? But he told me, like, oh, good. You got a lot going on? Me, too. You don't worry about what I do when I'm not here. I won't worry about what you're doing. Bet. Say less. I was cool with it. Until one day we go out to eat, the nigga leaves his ring, his wedding finger on. Now, I gotta, you got to have some type of boundaries here. See? He was real, though. Listen, Don't worry about I my didn't shit. Know I know it was that type of other shit going on. Like wait, he left his, wait, what happened? He was married. He was married. I didn't he he left say, his ring where? He left his ring on. I never he would usually take oh, it. I didn't know he was he was married. married. Yeah, so he just was like, Oh, I got shit going on, but you know what I do in my spare time, what you do. But he was paying the bills. At least you gotta have some type of. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think women should mess with married men. Period. I don't either. Point exactly. blank. I think I don't, that that's I don't, so tacky. Once I found out, it was uh, over. I don't have that, a but that's why nothing. they know what cards they can't put on. I don't have a problem with. I don't, I don't have a problem with anything. Tacky. I think I, everybody I should not. do what feels good. No problem. I think everybody should do. Everything's a go and raise book. No, no. As long as you're happy. Can I tell you something? Can I say something, Erica? I'm gonna say. See, I want y'all to understand something. I love women, and I want y'all to win. If you are a woman out there and you crazy. messing with a man, <laughs> how you if you know he's talking bullshit. No, yeah. I swear to man, I, want y'all to win I am about this life. If you are a woman and you are messing with a man and he cannot better your life in somehow, then you should not mess with him. Now that's, you can say that again. Now, that now you talking about that now, now. That's good. Now you talking if about you are a fucking man and she ain't letting you hang her head off the bed. And then right after you're done making you a sandwich and tell, you can tell her to whatever, shut the fuck up and she don't say yes, daddy, you shouldn't do nothing for her either. This is why me and Ray don't get along because if what? I can get up and make you a sandwich after you fuck me, then you didn't fuck me right. I should, I should be, I need, I need a moment. Nah, Jesus got to help you. Jesus get... got to give you that strength, baby. No, you Jesus. Get that strength to get Y'all the fuck. is crazy. Listen, I'm Lyrica. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's should... a 50 50 opinion because it's like, yeah, it wear you out, but then it's like, want to make you a sandwich because you did such a good oh, job. Because I, I mean, take... give me a second. I've laid like, in bed. Give me a second. I've laid in bed. That means you did a good job. Somebody, right. if you I don't get up and make me a sandwich, I'll call somebody who will. Because I, because my mind is, because guess what? If you told, if you, you told me, if right. you told me, if you told me you was hungry, yeah, and I said I ain't got no money for food, 
Hey, hey, call Scott to see if he makes sure she, tell him tell him Uwe eats us both some. Tell him it's for your son. Okay. <laughs> he, but your son is big. He's sixteen. He don't want a Happy Meal. Tell him he. I can't. I'm just telling you. We. This is my problem with us as the world. I'm, th- and we ever talk about this, Lyrica. People just need to be honest with themselves. You don't have to be honest with the world. That's your business. You be honest with yourself. Wait, I got a question because what I is it called when you think you might be single? I shouldn't put this out there like that. Go ahead. For like the rest of your life. What is that called? Tamara. No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What, is. what you say? It's a word for it? Okay. No, I just might just be single. Like, just hearing you talk Exploring and just what world. I've been through and stuff. I'm just... Men don't get better with time. If I, if you, we don't. If, if I've never, we don't. Put, if I, we don't. You know, you know, you know. You, know, you think about the interview we did, right? Where he said that interview was. He I cannot wait to drop it. I'm we good. need to drop that yeah. next week. I'm that great, actually. No, listen. No, hit me out. I'm just saying. We asked Donald. Can Jones, I ask you a question? Can I ask you? Does he know where he wants to be? No. We are years later, and that means you can't give the information. You can't give the information. No, men don't get better. I'm trying. Can I say something? I will ask you a question. Why? Can I ask you something? That's my friend. I really want to ask you this as a man. We've been having honest conversation. So, why right, would you I as a woman can't. I'm asking you as a I'm, I'm, re- I'm genuinely asking this why wouldn't you here. why wouldn't you as a woman instead of saying I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life and by any woman watching this I wanna ask why wouldn't you as a woman say instead of saying I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life why you don't just cause I think that that's a negative thing I don't think that's a positive I thing I agree okay so why I'll wouldn't you, you why, why wouldn't you choose the other negative and be like oh, but I'm gonna be my husband and as long as I don't see what he doing and he don't disrespect me we good Cause at least you got wait, companionship. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? I don't know how to not disrespect. That's the yeah, problem. For one. But it's not us. I don't wait, think let's just say first he of didn't all, call her. The other girls did. Uh, first of all, <laughs> they were the disrespectful ones. Shit. First of right, all, no, no, but they call. So you should be a rule. You say so you something to my wife. I'm gonna knock the clean out. So you don't Period. take you don't take accountability. Yes, Thank the fuck you. I do. You. you just blame the girl for calling. No, 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 no. You didn't take no accountability. Hold on, hold on, stop. I also said on record, if you got a side chick, better take care of her. No, you better pay her bills. That's what you came with. This does not get you better. You better, cause so you didn't say nothing about just being loyal to your woman. No, oh no, that's not even a card on at the all. Table. You sorry. didn't even bring that no, up. That's okay, so, not an option. So, so, sorry. Damn. Okay, can I just give you a picture? I want to give you a picture. Yeah, we don't. Let's not talk about. No, no, it's a picture. This is the picture. I want to give you a picture. As a man, we are sexual beings. We want it. You know for a fact, Lyrica, Tamira, you are two beautiful girls. We can do an experiment. I could take y'all to the club. Y'all could walk up to 20 random men and say to him, I think you whatever, whatever, but I want to fuck you tonight. What percent of those men, how many out of those 20 men are going to tell you, yes, they down? 100%. All Unless they gay. Okay. They, 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 the gay ones still might say that. Everybody, it's fluid shit going oh, yeah, on. Right? They, they still one, might yeah. say, I just want to do it. Or they'll be like, hit me, hit me out, hit me out. Mm-hmm. So guess what that tells me? That tells me that y'all have full access 24-7 that y'all take advantage of. Now, us as a man. Now, I'm not saying a woman has never walked up to me and said, I wanted you. That has happened a few times, but it hasn't happened enough. And <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> not enough. No, no, I'm just. It hasn't happened enough in my life. How about this? How about this? That's it hasn't happened. It happened, but I had to become somebody in life for it to happen. Agreed. It didn't happen when I was broke and I didn't have nothing. It didn't happen. It happened once. But she had a. <laughs> but she had a man that was like balling and he wasn't given a time. Right. But here's the point. Damn. The point. The point is this: is that the point is this: is that men don't have access. That's why when you put your man on TV, he might nobody might even want that nigga when y'all walking down the street. But now that he's on TV, girls want it just for the sake of saying they did it. Girl, girls are the problem because girls, don't look like that, hit me out. Girls are the issue. And the reason why women are the issue is because y'all, if I posted me and my girl Tamira, I'm going to get 20 DMs from women saying, damn, what? Mm-hmm. If a man posts this girl, I'm going to be like, man, good for her. Good for her. I'm happy you found love. Somebody that love you like I couldn't. Women, on the other hand, they don't think like that. They be like, oh, that's your girl? Da, 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 da. Come on, man. Y'all, who told every man in here, who told you not to trust a woman? Your mother. A, a woman told us. A man never told us not to trust a woman. A woman told us. Y'all don't trust each other. <laughs> Fuck that to my Now y'all matter. We don't trust y'all. Y'all don't trust each what other. What does this have to do with you cheating? With y'all not being able to. The point to is, is have that loyalty. y'all know what y'all gonna do. You don't bring a crackhead around crack and he get mad because he smoked it. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Yes, you we, am I lying? Let's be honest. Has it? Everybody felt bad you, for you, Pookie. You, well, you hit a lot of things. In everybody one. felt bad for Pookie. No, I'm, I do Maybe understand. I'm just saying. It. Maybe you can get. My him. problem is that we don't look at, we don't talk, we only see y'all perspective. It's and my thing is, is that it's not just us; it's y'all too. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you didn't go through some shit. But I'm saying if he was sitting right in that couch, 
he would probably be saying, and man, I just wanted this and I just wanted that. And I just wish that that happened. He Sometimes, would say I was in a dark place. I, okay, was, and I wanted somebody I to was, give me some light. I was drunk. And I wanted somebody to give me some light. <laughs> I was drunk. And I was drunk and I want somebody to give me some head. I don't know. I needed something. Women don't get no, none so of those excuses. So go get it. I'm out the way now. There you go. Period. But we should still, but black love, good, needs love to be at the, at the core of what we're doing. No, go have My fun. mom didn't leave Papa. My mom didn't leave Papa. Papa had a whole family on the other side of town. My mom yeah, knew about Papa it. Papa's yeah. side chick wasn't DMing Mama. Yeah. Because there wasn't no such thing as DMs. And you weren't getting a public Even if she lived next door, she would raise that child. If it was, my mom would be getting DM right fucking now. Even if Papa lived next door, his mistress lived next door, she would raise that kid and be quiet the whole time y'all live next door. Y'all just don't know how to keep y'all bitches And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you're a public figure and people know. That's a whole nother layer. It's a whole nother embarrassment. It doesn't feel good. So this you, is like going public on IG, but 10 times deeper. Like you're going public on national yeah. TV. So you going to answer my question? What's up? What's your question? Why wouldn't you decide to stay with him and his bullshit? Because that's just as sad as being single for the rest of your life. I said single for the rest of my life. I was being funny to what you were saying because I was just like, oh, my God, hearing you talk, I'm good. But um, single can be fun for one. What's fun about being single for a woman? I'm just curious. Can y'all help me? Can y'all educate me? You don't no, have to just, answer. You to don't somebody. have to answer to nobody. I, I go to sleep at night. Nobody's son is cheating on me. I'm just like He's chilling. But you got other people's sons trying to cheat on their wife with you. I don't That's cheat. I don't problem. mess with people's husbands. I think that that is not. So cute. I'm asking. Husbands, boyfriends. If, what is I, if I knowingly know that somebody is married or has a, um, um, what do you call it, girlfriend or whatever, I don't. Deal with people in relationships. I don't do that. I Ain't no way that. to go. Amen. I'm not That's being good. nobody's like so side anything. You want, so you rather just be at alone, sleeping in your bed, knowing that he's not fucking up, than be in the house with him and it's build. It's a little more peaceful because he grows up. You Men grow up. No, they don't. Sometimes. Not really. But I think I have that, not um, met one man that grew <laughs> up. I have not met one man that has grown. You know, up. I can tell you the men that grew up. Ooh, y'all want to know the answer to this? You grew Jeez. up. I, no, can I tell you the men that you grew up? Your can I tell you what we call men? I, ha I have a take. Can I tell you what we call men that grew what up? What sign are you, baby? Aries. Oh, you know, I've been meeting a lot of Aries men. Brax is shooting, Brax is shooting a shot right now. From behind the Oh, no, no, no. He's not shooting his oh, shot. Yeah. Why? He said okay. he was. Yeah, he said he was. Braxton is not shooting, shooting his, his shot. shot. Whoever's listening, he's not shooting his shot. Brax, you got a girl. Oh! The what the fuck? Out. She don't talk about. She oh put him on blast. God. Everybody catch me. Even Why you Braxton, done? What's I'm wrong? I'm trying to tell you. Braxton over there, 5'2", bald-headed, and 300. Sure. We've never had that before. Go. I like it, though. 300 pounds. <laughs> and still trying to... A whole woman and he just fried it on camera? On camera. And Fifi, watch. This is why Can I tell y'all... Hold on. I got to say something real quick. Can I say something real quick? Can I say something real quick? We, hold on. Can I say something real quick? Can I, can I say something real quick? Do you, do you know what we... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at Ray. Everybody's cute. They are. You can just talk about everybody being cute. Go ahead. I love it. Can I tell you guys what? We, <laughs> can I tell you guys what society calls men that have grown up? Okay. Grumpy old men. No, they don't. Grumpy old men. That's not true. Gr can I? You want, can I tell you why I say that? Because only time. Don oh. Vito, do you think you're gonna be a grumpy old man? <laughs> I know I'm not. You know why? Because I'm living my motherfucking life. You know the men that are going to be grumpy, old men? Up, why do you have to be grumpy? The, because they, they live by that happy wife, happy life rule. Follow the rules. Do what she says. When, he, when you ask him, man, my wife's the best version of me, man. I don't know what I would be without her. And then you realize the whole time What's you paying that? all the goddamn bills and she's stacked all her money. And now you're like, damn, my dick don't even work no more. And I ain't even use it when it did. Oh, please. Y'all going to leave her, go Ray, get a young what? bitch, and have a nice day. Like, I what can't. are we really talking don't about? Don't take right relationships. I don't think I'm going to be a grumpy. I know I'm not going to be a grumpy old man because I'm not going to hold my life. I'm not going to not live my life. Wait, hold on. She, I, got, I got somebody who could actually give some good insight on one of Ray's theories here. So I need you to break it down for me. Not, Ray has a theory that feminists have, or fe Feminist well, I'll do movement. feminists. The feminist movement, feminist movement has ruined R&B. Male R&B voice. I said the feminist movement has killed the male R&B voice. All right, and tell her, give her the example yeah. so she knows exactly where we're going and I want her to give us some Let me ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? No. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I have a tearing eye. I just want to share that Can I ask you a question? It's, it's a hypothetical question. Well, I keep wiping my eyes. It's a, hy it's a, hy <laughs> it's a hypothetical <laughs> question. I'm going to ask you, okay. young lady. I've been crying for too long. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> no, we don't want you crying no more. I'm going to ask you a hypothetical question. If your ex, your husband, your, or your, 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 your future soon-to-be ex-husband did an album about all the fucked up shit he did to you and how he was doing this to the girls, would that be considered toxic masculinity? I don't know. He 
he Tamir, would be, that be? He always puts out songs about me. Still, would that be considered toxic masculinity? I'm asking. Is it? I think it's just. I don't really letting out it. your truth in your own form. Women would be like, he's toxic. He's the worst person. When Future said, "I'm fucking bitches in Gucci socks," women was like, "He's toxic," and they loved them more. Because he's because he's men don't Gucci love socks. That well, was just a lie. No, nah, that's not why. No, that is not women why we love pull toxic future. men, bro. Toxic. Yeah, that's not so the you reason. Listen to toxic Future's Future music. That is the least toxic. toxic line he has ever said in his music. I'm just True. saying one. I'm just saying he has a song called Collection. Like, Future is toxic. Like, and I hit he, you once And if he and wanted to take one collection. of you out right now, y'all would be Damn. right there in the Bentley with him saying, I'm a part of the collection. Mm, that's and that's the fucking truth. No, and that's why men are like, fuck being a good guy. Fuck trying to play by the rules. I'm going to go get me some money, and I'm going to run through him. Future is handsome. His teeth are nice. He smells good. Everything he makes good music. It's it's a lot that that you know he's rich. It's a lot of things that'll make a woman just be like you know he has a whole the whole. He's charming. So you, would you date Future? Would I date Future? No. Why? Who would you date in the industry if you could? <laughs> oh, everybody's chuckling. You must be dating somebody. What we I have my eye on somebody. Ooh! Ooh. All right, um, give me a clue. You don't got to tell. Just it's, give me a clue. Just give me a clue. Like, is he a rapper, a singer? A... He's just. Mm. Oh, anyway. she said he's just. Mm. But that's it. I don't have no man. Though. I'm not with East Coast, West Coast. Is he toxic? <sighs> a little bit. Ooh, See what I'm trying to say. It's a hair. He's I don't know one woman. That. That, I don't know what only type of women that. The only type of women that come in the room and say he's a good guy is the ones that have gained weight, fell off, and they're like, he's such a good guy. No, he loves like me and my guys. kids. No, I like He loves good. me and my eight no, kids like and eight guys. baby daddies, and he's such a good guy. I like good guys. I, do, I love good guys. I think he could be a good guy. But, like, again, I'm not in a relationship with nobody. I'm chilling. But he is, like, a vibe. He's cool. She, just because she brought up industry. I don't really date industry man, but he's in a different industry than me. Oh, okay. So, but in the industry. Let's get back to the interview. We I could argue with y'all all day. <laughs> like I'm probably okay, blessing. What's your what's your go to breakup song? Like you know how SZA we SZA helped me a lot with um, what's the what's the record? Um, Kill Bill? Broken Clocks. Mm. That's still like my I love. She just all her a lot of her music has helped me. And what's your go to? It's gonna put me in a good mood song. Tupac. Which one? Um, only God can judge me. <laughs> uh, what else? What's the one we was playing yesterday? Um, uh, keep your head up. Oh, all yeah. that. Just, that does. That is a good feel. Yeah, good song. Pac makes me feel good. Yeah. Um. So you're a mom, and how do you balance your career and motherhood? It's hard. What's the it's, hardest thing first? What's a lot of work? Because Ocean come. It's a lot because Ocean comes first. Like my whole day on my way here, he wants to talk on the phone. Everything had to stop. I couldn't talk to nobody. I just wanted to know that Ocean was okay and talk to him. So making sure he's first priority. First is priority. Always. That's my baby. Even his mental. I have to make sure he's like having a good day. What's the biggest challenge <clears throat> you faced in the music industry as a female? The biggest challenge I faced in the music industry being a female. It's hard because everybody want to sleep with you. That's such a hard thing to you have feel to deal like with. it's dangling over your head. That is a hard thing. As a man, that's, a as a man to... that's so hard to deal with. No, everybody, not as everyone a man. Everyone I walk into, they want to suck my dick. I don't know what to do. It. I'm so frustrated. They all you want don't me. Wanna, no, I'm gonna tell you why. Like a piece I'm gonna tell you why. 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 I feel like I. I know. I feel strongly that I would be further if I would have fucked the right men in position that could have changed my career, but I never. Then the type of girl that's to the sleep saddest with you. thing that has ever been said on this show, and, and I want to change true. that narrative. Wait, let her finish. I want to change that narrative. It's true though. Let me tell you why. Because there's been some really, as what's the name would say, like high valued men that have like because I don't go after people for like what they have. Mm -hmm. If I just like you, I like you. It's not about like oh my god, he's the president of da da da. He could change my life. Like yeah, but he, most of the time they have wives at home, and I really think that that's tacky. Like I'm not sleeping with you, and you're married and stuff like that. If you have like an open poly relationship and that's like y'all's thing that's a little different and even still it's just weird it can be a little you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like i just don't so i feel like i skip some of them ones like i'm thinking of their names in the, my mm -hmm. head they're the ones <laughs> so and wish, i ain't go there do you wish you cheated i ain't talking about cheating i'm talking She's about before talking about i was married even. i'm saying when you were married i know you had opportunities do you wish you did just curious do i wish i cheated um 
No, I did deal with other people, but it was always when I was out of the house. Mm. So I waited till I like completely left him, and then I dealt with other people. So you don't wish you cheated? <laughs> I'm not a cheater. I can be with the same man forever. That's amazing. That's and just like, we can just rock out forever. So one day, when I'm not single, I'll probably be, I plan to be with that man forever. There you go. <laughs> No, fairy tales do exist. There um, we go. That's why I did I that chuckle because I'm because I'm a fairy girl. teller. Yeah. What, um, Ray? Nothing. I'm just listening. So let's get back to the when we drop the new music. What's going on? How you have a uh, how's a how's a no? Let's. I want to talk about the no. bad hair day. Okay. So that album was about your breakup, right? Yes. And women loves you for that. Yes. So what would the next project be about? Still a bad hair day. No. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure this out. Still trying out. to get this hair right. Okay. What is what does bad hair day mean? I don't even understand. I, I, so bad hair day means like. See, that's why I, this is why it's hard for me to interview. I don't know what that means. That's like, I don't know what that means. So when I hear that, I'm like, well, put a hat on. Um, bad hair day is just like, you just, it just means you're having a rough time. And that even when things look glitz and glam, like I don't care how much money you are. I don't care if you're Beyonce. Everybody has a bad hair day. And a bad hair day is basically, uh, playoff of having a bad day and I don't care if you're Obama if you're Beyonce how rich you are like when we had COVID just because you were it don't matter who you were you suffered from it you had to shut down you had to this and that you might have got sick from it you might have lost someone from it like we all go through it so bad hair day is just a form of like universally we all go through bad times hard times rough days and that's what bad hair day is about and i'm giving y'all my version of my bad hair day i'm telling y'all my bad hair day story in an album so that's the concept so it's gonna be called bad hair day too <laughs> i said still having a bad hair. i said uh, another still bad a bad hair. i was gonna say something like that but no that wasn't what i was gonna call it. I'm i know to call different it name he got an idea already. hey oh bad hair day too no. I had no, another team. bad hair i had day. to hit the team and said i wanted to do bad hair day too that was what i wanted to do no, call it pay yeah. We'll talk about that. That should be the name of the album. Pay. Okay, man. If you could pick one song that you've ever done that really is a reflection of who you are, which song would it be and why? Probably Marriott. Because mm. that's me. Like, you got me fucked up. I done met somebody else. He talking about he want to do this with me. Like, this what? is Petty Lyrica. What's he talking about? Yeah, Marriott. I got press play on that. I'm saying, who was, <laughs> was that real? Was yeah, that it was real. Yeah. There's a guy from so, Maryland. Who so, can I ask you a question? Did you make the album to hurt? No, yeah, I just ex. told my truth. So it wasn't to hurt him? Nope. I don't think artists do that. I don't think they put it out with an you intention to hurt someone. I think, like you know she artists. said, she just... You don't know artists. No, I just told my truth. Like, what else? Truth. I went and stayed at the Marriott Hotel. No, I'm saying, but like, wasn't did, you not like think, did you not say to yourself... Four Seasons or like, something? Yeah, four yeah. Seasons. Did you not say... I was say at a regular Marriott. And that like, made it way more relatable. It like, was relatable. Like, like, I wasn't at the Four Seasons or nothing crazy. I was just a cool little Marriott chilling. Because you, I left a mansion to go stay, almost a mansion, like a nice big house. I left a big house to go stay at the Marriott because you got me fucked up. So why wouldn't he leave? He didn't tell me to leave. I didn't tell him to leave. I left. Why wouldn't you make him leave? I didn't want to be around the energy anymore. So the house, the energy was off. Yeah. And so you went and you found new people, new teams, everything. No. No, no, no. I just was I, the first, the song is just letting it be known that you can like meet other people. No, I'm saying like, like when you left him, you still kept it pushing. You went and found out. You found a team. You start building there. You didn't. You didn't stop. You mm -hmm. fuck with Rivington. Shout out to Rivington. Rivington, what's up? I said up? it wrong. Shout out to Rivington. How do you start? So if you had excited my like, <laughs> if you've been That's in a relationship it. with someone and you kind of had that partner in your career and now you're splitting up. Mm -hmm. How does that affect your business relationships? Do they have to kind of pick and choose? Like, are you going, what, do you make them pick and choose? Hey, you're on this side or you're on our side? Do you split managers? Like, what does that look like? No, I mean, we still have like the same business manager. So sometimes you can still. You think there's a conflict of interest there? What? Either? Shut the fuck up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just same like, oh manager. no, you would have to come with me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's just it's like. My manager. I am picky choosy. But with that, because of the way we met, like I'm not tripping. But like, you can't be answering FaceTime calls. It's not giving that. Oh, right. Who can answer FaceTime calls? Riv's not like calling my ex. Like, what are you doing today? Like, it's not giving that. Oh, Riv's not? Oh, no. He signed a river to two? No, absolutely not. Said a, said a man came in and got all the money for the benefits. A <laughs> no. man came in and got all the benefits. I can't. No, he's not signing a river to no. Okay, so I was about to say, say, Scott, you a bad motherfucker. Moving forward, um, so 
what can we expect from you? What does the mu- new music sound like? Amazing. Shit. We working on some stuff now. Yeah, there we go. So is it going to be heartbreak music? music? Is it going to be motivation? Like we getting over this? It's music? gonna be honest. I will. I told the lyric. I said we'll make some music, but I'm not gonna do it if she's not gonna be honest. Mm. So what are three things that? You no, know, I'm gonna be honest. I just tell you about me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying we have to be really honest. I learned what I noticed about artists, not the successful ones. Like when. That was, I didn't mean to say it like that. I wasn't trying to be mean. I'm just saying, like, the thing I think separates artists, the successful artists, from the ones that are not successful is the successful ones are not afraid to just open their shirt and say, this is me, judge me. Mm. Who sneezed? Right? Right? Right. Am I tripping? No. Exactly. So I'm like, so if we're going to do music, it has to be, damn. Damn. Didn't do it. If we're not going to do music, if we're going to do music, I told her, it has to be real i don't Absolutely. want no bullshit don't if you're gonna come in the room and say we're not talking about that then we're not doing it i got a question for you what are three components you need for a hit i don't know i think the hits are organic and sometimes songs can be just okay but a dance took off that made it a hit sometimes songs can be incredible because you told you were honest and you told your business that people wanted to get in I don't think there's like a method for a hit. I think it just comes. And yeah. Okay, so before we get out of here, what advice do you have for anybody trying to break into the industry? Any um, artists trying to come up right now? What advice would you give them? Work hard and like stay at it. Don't give up. Things like that. If you could do anything differently, what would you have done? In the music industry? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if I could do anything differently. Um, she would have got down with this team. Or not just fuck with you. <laughs> I'll fuck with you. Fuck yeah. With you. I don't know. I want to help her make music. Because I, I know her story. I know it's real. And I just want her to just not be afraid to be real. I feel like Lyrica is also music. She's been around music. So when you've been around music, you kind of treat it like it's a like it's a job, right? Like, and now it's no longer a job. It's just kind of your lifestyle. Exactly. It's just kind of you. So, I, so sometimes you're like, like I don't want to do that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to mention that. And I'm like, well, you kind of gotta because everybody's been watching your life and know your story and want to know what happened to that, what happened to this, what's yeah. going on with that, and everything. And we have you have to be able to explain that shit. Like Usher and Chili just stopped hanging out. And what if they didn't? What if Usher didn't drop confession and they just stopped hanging out? My would know. still be asking, to yeah. what happened? Mm-hmm. What happened? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll tell so, my truth, though. But Ray, we're going to, yeah, we're going to yeah, do gonna that. Be, one of the things you said is probably what it sounds you. So your your management now is Rivington? Is that what we're going to No, Rivington with? is her label. Oh, that's the label. Oh, okay. So he I, has big checks. That guy I has actually, checks, like, yeah. you know, I'm an IG stalker, so I stalk people on the internet. So um, I saw that. Because now I got to ask Ray for a Range Rover. I saw that your manager brought you a Range Rover recently. So, like, our manager's giving out Range Rovers, Ray. I need, I need, I need some, I need a Range Rover. <laughs> oh, my God. Ray has not, Ray will buy a Range Rover. Ray has bought a Range Rover, but it was for Ray's woman. No, we need our Ray. Manager, our manager's as buying. As a manager, I'm not buying a car for anyone. Was she whispering? She asked her what? Nothing. Nothing. Go ahead. No, I haven't. No, managers don't buy cars. Managers don't buy cars. Who Not would? Really. The, so label. how'd you get a car? Scott would buy her a car. Scott was good. <laughs> Scott should buy the car. I have a okay. I have a direct quote right here. I saw you said your manager bought you a car. Or hold on, let me. I got a screenshot. Where is the car? On my phone. You want to talk and about it's it? It's in front of the car, right? And it says, "We just getting warmed up. God's plan. I'm just obeying. Four more points on the board. We've been working for four years building. So." And it's, oh, it was a birthday present. My birthday was in December, yes. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's going on? I didn't see you come in the range. It's not the car she came I in. don't have that car. I never got it. What? I never got it. Hold on. It's your birthday present. No, I never got it. What do you mean? It got a bow on it. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What, what do you mean? She's oh! standing in front of the car. What do you mean you never got it? I'm watching you with the car. Y'all you still waiting crazy. on it? I'm still waiting on it. What month are we in? This says December 17th. June. That was my birthday's December 18th. We're in June. I don't have the car still. 
All right. I, I got never questions. got the car to answer y'all's question. Wait, we got to back up. We got to back up. Okay, what's good? Okay, so who? All right, so we have a manager. We get a birthday present as a gift, right? Is that so? Ray saying that's not a typical thing, right? We don't. Right, correct. I, when I saw. I got like, when I saw it, I thought they was dating. No. Okay, and then the so, crazy part is that I saw y'all. You thought they were the dating mall. at the mall. He did think that. I, cause, no, and I said so because I saw him. So I saw I saw her post that she got a car, and then that day or the next day, I saw her and him at the mall shopping. What kind and of I was shopping? like, and I remember I called her best friend who works with me. I called her best friend who works with me, and I was like, I think they're together. And she was like, No. I was like, Yeah, my best friend knows. No, that's not. No, absolutely not. No mixing business. I don't budget. know about what managers are who's supposed to buy who cars, but I don't really take expensive gifts from people. Mm. Like I don't one. expect them. I don't ask Clearly for Clearly she ain't taking shit. I don't want them. So hold on, you didn't get the Range Rover because you didn't want it. No, hell no, that's not why. So you would have took that expensive. No, gift. I'm saying this to say what I'm oh. about to say. I don't expect gifts from nobody. Like even when I got the car, I'm getting you a car. I was like, nah, that's okay. And he's like, no, I bought it already. Jeez. Yeah, like Getting I already put the car. money down type, the big, you know, the down payment, whatever. So then it was like, come to Atlanta and get your car. And I'm like, oh my God, that was Shut so sweet. Why? Shut up. No, I'm serious. So hold on, you get a phone call saying I bought a car, come get it. Yes. Mom, then, first, then, it was, then, first it was I'm buying a car. And I was and like, get and off then, my phone. And then and you I came to get it and then what? Okay, so we're, yeah, we're fast forwarding. So first it was like, I'm getting a car. I was like, oh God, you're stupid. So hold on, you didn't think to yourself one time, this nigga gotta like me. Um, See, that's the hard part about That's being a girl. That's the delusion that, men, no. that, women, that women can live in that men can't. You don't want to think every nigga wants to have sex with you. But like, like you Gucci gotta... and them, don't they be buying their artist cars? Right. And they the are chains. the labels. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, I don't caught know. us with that one. We both yeah, said, oh. I'm like, oh yeah, P know. buy his artist cars, but he's the label. Mm. Managers, I need a label that's gonna managers, buy cars. labels okay, buy okay, cars. Okay, managers amazing. don't. Unless you made 50, 30, 40, 50 million with this artist and now you want to buy him a car because y'all done make so much money together. So if a man's offering us a car, they trying to sleep with us. That's the underlining message. Yeah. What the fuck is that? How can I, if a man offers to buy you anything and he's not your father, your brother, your cousin, or a family member, or he is interested in you, unless it's business. I wasn't thinking that. Far. I think it was painted as business. You should have been. I don't think been. I was thinking. I think I was just thinking that. I mean, like whatever. I just was thinking like, oh, that's dope. We're gonna like you got me a car that's so sweet. I totally didn't see that coming. How I, do you know when you got? I don't, can I say something? I don't think a, I don't think a man buys a car, and wants to hear that's so sweet. Right. I said thank That's you. That's a good one. You I know buy, what he want to hear. If I buy a car, I want to hear. You know what he want to hear. Meet me in, in the, the back, back so I can do something to, to thank you. Just being honest. As a man, and by the way, you, is, is that wrong? Buy me a car. Uh, uh, this not, by the way, right. by the way, this is not, we're not talking about a uh, 2016 uh, 3 Series BMW, leather in it, nice, but it's, it's cute. You know, you buy it for your teenage daughter. We're talking about that. We're talking about a 2023 Big Boy Range Rover. Correct. Big boy. I need you to meet me uh, somewhere. <laughs> meet me and meet you. right now. We say Don immediately with the bow on top of it what? right here. What you about? So I thought y'all was. By the way, and by the way, I know I know the guy, but I thought y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I swear to you, I told Jay. I was like, I thought that. I think they're dating. Absolutely not. Do not you? even a question. We weren't dating. We weren't nothing. We never. Did so he nothing. just wanted. To, yeah, did y'all talk about buying each other cars? I'm trying to tell you. So he just randomly said, "I got a car for you," and you show up to you show up to buy the, to get the car. You show up to get the car, and then he's like, "Here's your no, car." This is what happened. Okay, so my la the relationship I was in with the father and my child, we didn't buy ever buy cars. That was like our thing. We always like we had drivers, and that was like his little bossy statement. Like we don't need a car. We got drivers. We got black trucks. We don't need cars. So he convinced me because you know you let the man leave that we don't need cars. So I don't have a car. We were black truck everywhere. So you don't have a car. So I do not have so a car. So your new manager. This is why you can't so your new me. manager hey, you walks chill. into your life. Hey, you gotta chill. No, no, I'm saying you manager chill. walks in your life, and he's like, "This is why men." Are he's the like, you know what? Because yeah. as a man, as a man, we we not, I, not no. It was just like I just don't have a car. I'm telling you the reason first. Okay. So then he saw um, a need, an open need, I guess, mm -hmm. and was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like you know what I was thinking for your birthday? You need a car, and I was like, "You so stupid!" Ha ha ha! And got past it because I don't even. I'm extremely shy. So when people try to do really nice things for me, it makes me like really almost uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you're so silly. No. And then he's like, no, seriously, we're this is the one we're getting. He sent the picture. Uh, and I'm like, for real, for real? Like, first of all, where'd you get this kind of money? Because I know this car is like 200000 So I'm like. It's a hundred and. Fifty thousand dollar car. I think it was one seventy nine plus tax oh. to be exact. <laughs> I bought, so I bought, I bought, I bought, the I bought my Range Rover for one hundred and thirty thousand cash, mm -hmm. and I bought my girl's Range Rover uh, for I think 
a hundred thousand dollars cash. Well, this one was like one seventy something up close. It was up there. I even looked it up. Okay, cool. So, whatever. So fine. Up. So I went out there. I flew out there because he's like, he called me. He's like, if you don't come get this car for your birthday, I'm going to be mad at you. Shut the f- Because it's paid for. And I'm like, my mom was like, don't be stupid. Like, go get your car. If this you is just Atlanta, Georgia. I'm about to go to Rachel right now. So I was like, bet. So I flew out here and woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning on my birthday. Or was it the day You flew before? out on your birthday? I flew out the, was the day before, I think. The 17th, the 17th. And yeah. And then we went in the morning. So maybe I flew out the 16th. My birthday's the 18th. Went the 17th to the dealership and they had the bow on it. It had the ball. And like, get in and make the video. We and you all were happy. Of course. I'm like, oh my gosh. So let me like, ask you a question, young lady. Um, just curious. Why wouldn't you say at that moment? So this is hard for me to just hear here because at that moment you could have said, I know I need a car, but why does it have to be a hundred and eighty thousand dollar car? I told him that on the phone already though. I, know, I was like, so- why is it necessary to get this car? I was like, I'm not I'm not tripping like that. We could get something like chill. Like I'm not like I'm not. Yeah, that's what I'm everybody saying. knows me to be flashy like that. Yeah. So I'm like, well, it's cool. And he was like, Nah, you need like a brand new dope. Like I am a truck girl, so I did want a truck. But he's like, you need this one. And I'm like, All right, bet. So and so I came out here. We went to the dealership. It had the bow on it, and I was like, Oh my gosh, it's really happening. It's crazy. I test drove it. You know what I'm saying? I was playing the uh, once you locked in, ain't no Play switching up. Oh my record, God. the PZ record, the PZ retweeted, reposted it, or whatever. It was going <laughs> no. up, right? So I'm like, we're having fun. This is Man, so I'm dope. And I hate you. And I was excited because it's like, first of all, that someone even like thought about me like that. I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. So it was cool. And then. I drove it, and they was like, we're going to put some the, the black rims on it and then send it to you in, like, two weeks. So I'm like, bet, because my birthday is a week before Christmas. So I'm like, okay, between holidays, Christmas, might be slow on the shipping. I give it, like, two or three weeks. After, like, two months, I'm like, where's the car? No, no, after curious. two months? After, like, a month. When I did was, you start panicking? When did I what? Start worrying. Start worrying, like, month, like, four. I was like, oh. Month not- four? You didn't worry on week three? No, because it's my birthday falls right before a big Wait, holiday. I want to hear. So you call the dealership. Where's my car? Okay, so I. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't think about Samira. Wow. So no, I. Call, Where's my car? The dealership is in on this. I'm about to go to Lamb Road. So I didn't call. Okay, so I didn't call the dealership. I called him, oh, and I'm like, "Yo, what's I up with the car?" Seen. And he gave me a really bogus excuse, like, "Oh, I have to drive it. I'm going to pick it up in a couple of days and drive it to Alabama because that's where the company paid for the car, and I got to go there to register it." And some crazy story. But again, it's a gift, so I'm not trying to be like you're lying, right? Or that's not true. So I'm like, okay, don't worry about it. So I let. Do you believe him? When he said that, I was getting a little sketchy, but I was like, hey, I haven't bought a brand new car in forever, so I don't remember. Like, maybe that's how it goes. I'd have so I was being a little naive, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Again, I get driven everywhere. Car uh, service. You should, if I was you, I would have said, how about this? I'm going to fly to Atlanta. I'll drive to Alabama, and then make sure it's okay. No, so I was being cool. I was like, it's when all good. you don't think it's a scam, you You're just not like- even tripping. So I'm like, it's all good. No worries. So I'm waiting. And then after a while, I was like, okay, so he flew to L.A. and we had lunch. And then that's when I was like, what's up with the car? Not lunch. And then he said. I want a car. My brother is the one who bought the car, not me. Here we go. That's the first one. Supposedly. And I'm like. So well, I'm like, well, we like made you? a post about it. You had me post it and tag you. So the, hold on. Did you write all of that on the post or did he write the post? I wrote the post to him like a special thank you. No, I'm saying, but did the post get written by you? Yeah, I she wrote, wrote the, the post. whole thing to him as a thank you for the birthday. You got to see it. It's a long whole. Yeah. I saw it. I was so happy for her. Yeah. And then I saw him in the mall the next day shopping. And she, I, I, they was at a cologne like kiosk. And I was like, oh, that's so amazing. I went and, and bought, bought a ring. After over, he she did that, I went and bought I him thought I was a about birthday, to get his, his free birthday gift. Because his birthday is. What did you buy him? A couple days after mine. Um, a Versace robe and some really expensive cologne. That's. Fifteen hundred dollars compared to a hundred and eighty thousand dollar car. I know, but my but yes, she did but get it was a imaginary. Best. But that's her oh, best. I wasn't about and to I match him with a car. It's literally zero to her fifteen hundred. Yeah, it it's zero. Thoughtful. You gave me a, a it was dream. Like, do you want the road back? The fuck? Do I want it back? What I'm gonna do with an Instagram picture? I mean, I could look cute in it and wear it. So we want the road back. I mean, so, it's giving no. Keep the road. So I spent fifteen hundred and I got a picture because that's what it's giving. I got a, a picture. That is what it's really giving. That's what that's what's happening. That's what it's really giving. That, that's the I, that's the only that's thing really I see. If, if there's if there's yeah. another point of view, oh, and I got picture? like balloons. Like I went all. I Did you at least special. get the bow? 
Right. No. Give me the fucking boat. I didn't I'm get gonna, the fucking boat. So, 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 so. I'm going to get the boat for you. You get bought a car, imaginary car, and. Well, I said, was that me? That was you. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being, I'm saying it was a, it wasn't real. No. And I never, the point of the story is I never saw the car, got the car, nothing. And it was just like the biggest lie I've probably ever been told in my entire life. I think that's probably the biggest lie that's been told in the last 12 months to a woman. Like ever. Like I right. literally, I, I, I literally think, didn't I think, get Matter of fact, if you're listening to this like, and you're a woman and all. you have a worse story than this, we want you on the show. Because I want to hear about how you go. Only way you get swindled out is a, that's, a, that's a house, by the way. $189,000. That's how much we paid for my grandmother's house that we all moved into. So that's a house, by the way. So I'm like, so, so what's next? Are we going to get the car? So when you totally got a new manager now, right? Well, you, well, well really? she doesn't, but. He's not still in charge, right? No, no, He's but it's not here, a right? new person. No. It's oh, just okay. as long as Scott it's not and him. Andrew, and then as my guys, and me him. and my guys is going to get involved in the project, and we're going to see. Oh, it's up can, now. Oh. Like when Ray start doing his, yeah, he's he like, up the like second. Now. I'm not doing it like that. I'm just saying we're going to make music, talking about these things. Like I think that it's oh. important that she tells her story because my <laughs> if thing, you do a song about this, because I want to be in the video. If it happened to, if I'm being honest, if if it happened to my sister. Um, oh, or no, if it happened to my that. sister, I would just tell her, "Fuck that, go buy your own Range Rover. Let's let's set you up to go get your own car." Because yeah. the the more the story is, is for women and just to stop being uh, believing what these men are teaching you, are telling you. Because is that wrong? Is that wrong to say? First that? of all, no, because I, I I'm with you. Don't listen. Don't listen to shit men say. But. He had the proof right the there. Dealership. He had the, he had the, well, the fact she that we wasn't went to listening the dealership. to words, yeah, right? And we she's went to the watching dealership. actions. Yeah. There are actions. I'm not right just here. like you naive. We went to the, with a boat and yeah, then, and I, I drove, it. drove it. Yeah. No, I the, have a man. I can't believe that. I have the a man theory. I have a man theory. I have a man theory. I have theories, guys. You want anybody hear my theory? What happened? By the way, the person we talking about, Prince, I know Prince. I said his name. Fuck. Well, I mean, it's on Instagram. What the fuck you want me to do? But I, that's, I, I've been known him for a long time. But here's the point. I believe what happened is, is that he sat down with his brother and he said, I believe Lyrica should be my wife. Could y'all let me finish? Could y'all look? Y'all want to hear my theory or not? I, I'm loving I, this. I'm, I'm, listen. I am Okay, so this. let's look at it. Okay, so let's look. Because first of all, he's not here. But let's look at it from a, let's look at it from a different lens. Because by the way, it's still fucked up. But let's look at it from a different lens. I got, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Se I got seven men in here, yeah, right? Okay. I just want to ask y'all a question. Yeah, so okay. imagine you wake up one day, you have this revelation. You call your brother and you say, hey, man, I think Lyrica should be my wife. But I don't think she sees me like that. So he says, you know what you should do, bro? Let's go big. <laughs> oh, my let's, God. Why y'all laughing? I'm, being, I'm, I'm, I'm a man. I'm being honest with you. So he's like, let's but go big. Why not give her a call? Hear me out. Let me get to the story, y'all. So he says to his brother, I'm in love with this woman and I want to be with her. Okay. Now, this is, now this, tell me your name, bro. Terry. So this is, Terry, this is me saying how it would be from a romantic, like this is a romantic side, right? Let's look at it from a romantic side. So he says, man, I think this girl should be my wife. I'm going to buy her. Let's do something big. You can't buy a ring. That's too much. You already helping her career. You can't do that. Let's do something that separates you from the pack. He wasn't really what, helping my what does she that. have? What does she have that no one that I what does she have that I can get her to show her I'm the man for her? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy her a damn Range Rover. Brother's like, what? Then Range buy Rover? Her the he Range said, I'm gonna buy her a Range Rover. And then he bought her a boat. He bought the Range Rover. <laughs> he bought the Range Rover with the hopes that <laughs> after they was finished, she gave him a kiss and said, Wow. Rachel Hold on, let me story. finish. Let me tell my story. It's important. The princess and the frog. He's not here, and I'm cool with him. I just want to tell a story. He says, he says, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a car, and that's going to be my way. I tell her I love her. Wow. And then I buy her the car, and this motherfucker FaceTimes the dude she's dating. To my look what my manager bought me. At that moment, hey, fuck that shit. Oh, oh best is off. I'm with you. Fuck the car. It's off. Let him buy you a car. Since you want to face, I'm telling you, as no, a man. No, you got to go big, dog. Come on, no competition. Come can, on, I you can I ask you a question, Tamira? Can I ask you a question? Yep. I'm, I'm going to ask, what is, what is the most money you've ever spent on a man? Oh, we just had this conversation. By the way, this is but a good I question. just want to tell y'all. No, answer the question. I'm, I'm, 
I don't have a lot of money though. That's okay. I, but it, it could be five dollars. It's more I than just, I ever spent on myself. I'm asking you the question. Thirty five hundred. What's the most That's money you ever spent on a man? Amount. What's the most money you ever spent on a man? What's the most it's, money? It, I what's the most money? Lyrica, what's the most money you ever spent on a man? I have spent that much on myself. Oh my look, see, look, see I'm asking a straight question. Lyrica, what's the most money you ever spent on a man? Um, my ex husband, I spent a lot of money. What's the most money you spent on one gift? I'm saying, like um, one I gift. I bought him some seven thousand dollars earrings. Okay, cool. Was it not from the joint account? No, oh, from Good my question. account. Okay, just you gotta ask that they was married. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Love the buy me gifts, but it was, it was like a, a Father's Day or birthday Favorite or something. Lex, what's the most money ever spent on a man? Yeah, uh, on one item. See, that's great. Jay, we're poor. How much? Twenty five hundred? Oh, they said thousand. What's the number? Just give me a guess. Say nobody else spent a hundred. Yeah, that's what he's trying to. Watch this, y'all. Watch. Three thousand. Okay, cool. So men don't deserve that. Men deserve less. Can I do this real quick? Yes. So twenty five hundred, five thousand, seventy five hundred, fifteen hundred, nine thousand, uh, thirty five hundred, thirteen thousand. We up to. (laughs) <laughs> Three thousand, sixteen thousand, <laughs> seven thousand, the most twenty three thousand dollars. All together. Between all the women in the room. <laughs> we spent twenty three thousand dollars on a man. And that and, and I gotta make sure another thing. For the ladies in the room, the man that you spent that money on, did you love him? Yes. Was he your man? Yeah. Did you spend it on a man that you wanted? Did you buy him the gift cause you wanted him? Oh, I have done that. Like no, the seven thousand dollar gift. Did you buy it cause you wanted him? You didn't. You had them already. That's why you bought it. As a man, I've spent $195,000 on a car. I'm telling you guys, men have done dumb shit, but it's because we want you. It is not because I want you to go take this Ranger I bought you and go pick up your little young boyfriend who can't put gas in it. (laughs) I'm buying this Range Rover because I I want you to see me as the man that could be in your life. Look at me. I just bought you a car, baby. What's up? I'm managing you. I you got a car for you. Give me the keys. Don't look at you like that. that. I was about to say you. Because you had. Because you know what he also said. He said, but listen, bro, we got to make this real. Because if she don't love me, I gotta protect myself. At least they give me. Let me finish. Let me finish. So he said, bro, I'm gonna give her two weeks to tell me she loves me. And if she don't tell me she loves me in the next two weeks, she ain't getting that motherfucking car. <laughs> If you he didn't get the car. If she he was didn't driving get the around love. in it, she might have fell in love, but she never got the drive. No, I'm just around. saying. She didn't get to see the benefits so of the car. So hold on, so hold on. If the car would if you would if the car would have been delivered, the what he would have had a shot? We don't know. We never so know. To be continued. Well, guess what? <laughs> Let me ask anybody here <laughs> the, the question. Next, I'm okay. Right? Look, anybody here spent $180,000 on something we don't know. Boom. I ain't gonna lie. You spent a hundred. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Meeting you in the Wait, wait, wait. First of all, we have a business relationship and we work together. And we were getting money and was going to get more. We would have gotten way more. Now, that was something that was not like in my head like, oh, my gosh, when I get this car, I'll be with him. But when somebody do something nice to, nice for you like that, they do become a little different. They look a little cuter all of a sudden. You be like, so he was cuter. All of a sudden, so he was cute to you. I was telling you, the light star. So he was cute to you. See? Look. Oh, did you get a new hair cut today? He became cuter. No. He became a little cuter. No. I like that color. He was a, what number was he before the car? And what did he become after the car? I'm saying, by I'm doing these things can make a person right. naturally, just as human nature, you all of a sudden be like, you know, maybe we do that I'm as humans. You. But are you asking me, like, was I looking at dating my, at the time, manager? Hell no. And That's your, and like she said, first of all, no, hell no. So he didn't but become a little cuter to you. I'm he didn't become a little. Cu- he didn't become slightly cuter. He didn't become like, well, I can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, he just. It was like, you know, what? he's so sweet that like maybe, you know, you start looking at them in a different light. Fellas, different if life. you're listening, do not buy her sh- a woman <laughs> shit without making it known what your intent is, because he made his intent known off tops. I'm your manager. He, I'm buying you. This so car. he's never expressed. He's you, never so expressed that he likes you. Your intent is. Hold on. Stop. I got a question. This is, this, hold on. Has he ever expressed that he has he ever expressed a little interest in you? Has he ever said to you one day, wow, you're a beautiful girl? Has he ever said someone you was like, OK, that was a little flirty. I'm not doing this with you. Yes or no? It's an easy question. I'm not doing I feel like it. all men do that though. As a female, you don't yeah. want to think every man just because they give you. you a compliment is asking. Okay, so can you. I say something? You can't think that way. You said what? What'd you say? What'd you say? Go ahead, say it. He expressed it to her. 
And oh, you told her, didn't you? Oh. So, see? The block is hot. See, guys? The block we got to the bottom of it. The block is hot. We got to the bottom of it. We got to the bottom of it. We got, see? That's the point of the God show. No, we got to the saying. bottom of it. He, he, he liked her. He planted the seeds with her friends. Wait, did he tell you while he was in the process of buying the car? Or no. Like, but she knew, he knew before. Oh. So he knew, so she knew, he told her, and he's like, he sent the message through proper channels, and he didn't get that look back. So he told her he was proper at the table. Proper channels? I didn't know. Lex she was the proper channel. Lex told me way later. Okay, so hit me out. So he says the, so in his mind, he's thinking, I'm telling Lex, I'm telling her. He's like, man. And I'm, t- bro, I'm telling y'all. Can I tell y'all something? When I was in the seventh grade. <laughs> This is equivalent, by the way. This is equivalent. Of course, seventh grade I, is equivalent. Can I tell y'all something? Of course. See how y'all do? I want to tell y'all something. It was two. Th- it was two moments in my life that changed my life. Okay. In seventh grade, this is the first one. I was in the seventh grade. I'd had this these girls that I had my eye on. I would have took any one of them. How many of them? What? It was four of them. Four in seventh grade. I was fucking five. Ray has been a I minute was like, since I was like the five beginning foot of three. time. Right? I was like five foot three. It doesn't get better. So it was only only a few girls that was my height or shorter in the seventh grade, and you were not five. You only got hyped. I went to Target on Gabby Road, and I stole four treasure trolls. <laughs> I'm be, I'm telling y'all. I swear to God on my father. I've never this heard is a, this story. This is a true story. I this. stole four treasure trolls. Okay. I remember one girl was Tracy, and I don't remember the up Tony, and then it was I remember the other two, but it's Tracy and Tony. I don't they, my, they, they're my homies now. But I, I stole some treasure trolls and I bought it to school, and I remember just thinking like I just took a penitentiary chance and an ass whipping. To get these girls some fucking treasure shows, I just want one. Wait, to tro- is kiss that the me. one with the hair that goes? Yes, there? this yeah. is when y'all. This is when women was like, "Oh, I need that. We I need that." I stole four of them. Wow! And then I took them to school. <laughs> I met them all on different hallways. I gave them all the treasure trove. None of those motherfuckers gave me a kiss. Then I realized, bitches don't want niggas to buy them shit. That's not true. They want men to treat them like shit. That's not true. That was that was what I learned. Because you didn't give it time. Even what you're saying about the car. Even grade. what you're saying about the car. I'm not saying that was that was never an option. Right. But let's just say it was somebody else, right? And like, you get a girl car because you're interested. You let her get in the car, get comfortable, and then she might be like, "Oh my gosh, girl, I didn't like him like that." But well, she might he not. did something so sweet. Well, she when might you not. see the no, convenience most of that the that time, gift, and, and, and I'm out one hundred eighty thousand dollars. I got Lex said, "I'll take, I'll do that's it." The, that's the, I'll you be with him. You give me the car. You, you're not hearing me. Give me the, Lex. If you would have gave you the car, would you, you get? Would you have been with him? You didn't even let it marry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You ain't let it marry. You didn't even. You messed up already. Tell me how. Let's just say that was the case. It's like let that be the case and see what happens. If you already gonna go that. Like dive in that deep type. Let see what happens now. And you reneged, and now right. you just look like whack, and you look like a little Indian. You li- like you look like a liar. You li- you had me put this whole thing up with two could, million followers. Four like I, I have it's Tamara, too much. I could bet you one thing, and I don't know if this is a fact, but I could bet you one thing. That, that picture and that that Range Rover on Instagram probably got him like three thousand chicks yeah. in his DM saying, "If you're a real prince, I'll marry you." <laughs> For sure. Yeah, remember that from coming to and America? That been his, his name Prince, by the, the way. And I good. And I good. If you're a real prince, I'll marry you. For sure. <laughs> I'm telling you. That might have been his objective the whole time, though. Like, and he might have never had any issues on giving his possible that. cover. And what that does no, 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 is no, no, make no, no, him no. look so no, 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 ill. No. The seven months blew the cover. He looks even more gross. The seven months blew the cover. He looks even more gross. I'm just saying, like, my theory, because I'm like, because my mind is like. It's a good theory. I didn't ask for that. I know you didn't, but this is what I'm saying. Let me ask you a question. Like, honestly, like, how many women do we know walking around with a hundred and eighty thousand dollar wedding ring on? Like that's what you buy your wife. Yeah. And he bought it. So I, see, this is the okay. So this, let's be honest, right? So we having fun. We talking shit. Me, Can I be honest. Can I be honest. This one we got to be honest. I'm being honest with y'all. We we next door to a showroom. If one of the girls that work next door bought me a plate of food, like I just want to feed you because I cooked. First thing I'm thinking to myself as a man is, what the fuck do you want? Why the fuck are you getting... Am I tripping as a man? You know like, I'm not naive food. to think that... If, if somebody came in and said, I just saw a shirt that looked cute on you. I'm like, oh, she wants a dick. Oh, okay, she, what you want? Like, you, oh, she wants to be in the music business. She wants something. She wants something. I don't think... That was so sweet of you. Yeah, but we don't what have you the privilege of thinking that. What do you want me to do with the plate when I'm done? If we, we think every cutlery. man who does something nice for us, we, we're, we're arrogant. We're up our head. We think everybody wants us. We think our shit don't stink. Tamira, like, you can't Tamira, be that. Now, let me ask you another question, young lady. Man. What's the most money a man has ever spent on you? Um, not, not, not a hundred motherfucking What's the most money a man spent on you for one gift? 
Um, I, a man bought me a car before it wasn't. What kind of car was it? Um, <laughs> she got <laughs> that now. It was um oh a gosh. Kia Optimum. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't even know how to drive. That's then, still though. dope. Yeah, no, it was. It, but I'm see, the type person that, that thought that counts. What's the most money a man has ever spent on you, Jen? Most money a man spent on you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a one gift. Lex, one gift. Oh, here we done. We're huh? up. Jay, most money man spent on you? Hundred or thousand? Who do She's from Brooklyn. That She's from Brooklyn. She's like, nigga, bo- nigga took me to Bodega, yo. Like, that's what we did. We went to Bodega, big got me a chopped cheese, nigga. That's what we do. But, 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 but here's the point. The point is that if a man spends that kind of money on a woman, he's in love with her. I don't oh know what y'all say. No, unless she signed to him, and that's a part of his business model. Because you, as you know, the difference between a manager, can we talk about this on the but show all the time? you don't lie about it. I don't care if you're signed, not signed, you like, you in love, you're not in love, you're this. At the end of the day, we were friends, and you don't need to lie to gain my love for you, which is stupid and crazy, by offering me a car. I it's never, unnecessary. I never told this story And before. don't have me post Be it real. I never, I never told it. That's, don't that, have me that, post that, it that's the part that I, That's the part that's why. Don't make me post it because now everywhere you go, I'm pretty sure people's like, "Where's the car?" Everybody, where's the car? Ask me like, "Oh my gosh, your manager guy is so sweet. Where is it?" Hey, I can't wait to sweet. see. It. That's come, bossed up. They're I like, want... "Come take me for a drive." My friends Can in LA like, "Come pick me up." See, it's, this is this one. This one I'm getting to the real answer. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Like, what? After you get the Range Rover, this is how you could tell the real. And then I'm gonna move to the next thing. What does Mama say about him? Mary Am. What does Mary Am say about that him? That is what mothers would say. No, what did your mom say? Oh, what did my mom say? When he bought you the Range Rover, what was her advice to you? She didn't say he's so sweet, did she? Because she an OG. <laughs> what did your mom say? Just curious. You wish we on FaceTime or won't ask her? Yes, that would be amazing. Okay. Is she gonna is she gonna is she, I wanna ask her what she said. Okay, we like not how she feels now, but in that moment, what did she say? Look and I guarantee you it was something like the other guys you would ain't never did nothing like that for you. You <laughs> might as well be with them. Let's see, hold on. Am I tripping? Like, that's what a mom would say. Be with him. Because my mother's always trying to make me I'm marry some my low hating. I had some friends that said that. People like, even one Lex, of my guy friends. That's why that's my nigga right there. I fuck with Lex. Lex like, is about that business. Hey. For sure. If he's a prayer prince, she asked. Mom, you're on speakerphone. Okay. Um, Mr. Ray Downs has a question for you. Well, I, I, how you doing? Uh, now that you're on speakerphone, we're recording a live podcast right now. For the <laughs> All world. that. That's <laughs> a very important thing to say. <laughs> Uh, and we're speaking of, we're speaking about her situation um, where the guy bought her a car, and um, you know we speak. And I have theories. Everyone has theories. That's but good, and Lyrica keeps saying, "I just thought it was so sweet. I thought it was so sweet." So I said, "What did your mom say?" She's an OG. I guarantee you, she. I well, I'm not gonna say that because you're on the phone. I'm gonna ask you straight up. What was your thoughts initially about him, in pertaining to her life when he bought her the car? Well, throughout their relationship. I told her something about him didn't sit right with me. I didn't know what it was. This is what she's about to go in. He did this. I said, what has he done? And at that point, maybe it was a year. Maybe it was two years. I said, what has he done for your career? I said, he shows up at every event that you get for yourself or that somebody seeks you out for. I said, well, what has he done for you? So by the time the car thing came around, I mean, it literally melted my heart for a second. And then... No. Because he flew up. Because, he, because I thought, wow, maybe I was wrong about this guy. And then because I got on the phone with him and he said, um, yeah, we don't do we do not do uh, uh, payments over here. I brought it for her cash. I, mean, <laughs> I forgot about that part. So, I was like, wow. So, 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 I so, no, no. So what I want to focus on, what I want to focus on is you said for a second. I want to focus on that <laughs> second. That second. And that second, second. What, were you, what were you saying? For a second, I said, this doesn't seem right. I said, this nigga's full of shit. That's what I said. <laughs> That's a black mama for you. <laughs> <laughs> she smelt it from so, a mile oh, so, away. So, 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 so what I was trying to get at was, uh, my theory is is that he, he he fell in love with her and he bought the car. I ain't got to that part yet. Oh, go, see? Oh, go let ahead. her go. Let's go. I kept telling her, I said, when she got back to L.A., I said, Lisa, why would he buy you a car? He don't even have a car, $162,000. I said, be careful. He's talking about moving in your building underneath you or down the hall from you. I said, this guy, he's in love with you. 
I said, this no, no normal person just go buy a car for somebody when he can't even afford it for himself. And she kept saying, no, ma, no, 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 no. He did this. I went and saw the car, and I kept telling him, a week went by, two weeks went by. I said, Lyrica, where's your car? <laughs> Where the car? I said, I said, where's your car? She goes, it's coming. He said he had to register it first in their LLC, and then once it gets registered, he's going to ship it here. I said, Lyrica, this nigga is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I told her, I said, you're not going to get the yeah. I'm waiting. You're not gonna get the car. Period. Not gonna get it. And so she kept, she kept believing it. And I felt so bad for her because she's sweet like that. Even though she got some of me up in her, <laughs> she, she would rather believe the best in people. Okay, so then move forward. A month, two months, three months went by. Then he's in town, and he wanted to stay in her house. I said, Why are you letting this nigga stay in your house? Can he afford a room? She's like, well, yeah, but, you know, he when I go out there, so she's making all of her little sweetheart reasons. He stays there. I say, why did you not ask her? She said, well, I asked about my car, and he said he needs to come clean with me. And the come clean was, I didn't have the money. My brother wanted to do this for me. So he paid for the, at least he told me he was paying for the car. And so when I confronted him about it, you know what he said? What did he say? It's not me. It's not me. I said, who the fuck it is? Who is it? You're the one that gave your word to me. Facts. So if it ain't you, I don't know your brother. No mm. doesn't know your brother either. Mm. So I, I got so frustrated with him because he didn't even take accountability mm. when I confronted him in person. Mm. Mm. Sound like men. So I, you know, I, I still just thinking about it. I'm, I'm I, I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you. And you are invited. Ask. You are invited to the anything. <laughs> anything we are doing, I want you on this. You need a show. You are amazing. She is. I mean, Somebody I'm just keeping it real. Um, th- I, I got my daughter through everything that she does. And she, when she listens, she benefits. And when she doesn't, she comes back and she says, Mommy, you know what? How did you know? How did you? I said, Hey, I ain't lived this long and been out here with some wolves to not have some experience to be able to pass on to you. That's what mm-hmm. I just said. I said, You that had to nice. know. Um, he spent, she I didn't said, even I know what kind of car he drives. I said, He spent this much money in a car. He, was in love with you and that was his oh way of professing his love right. and when he realized he wasn't going to get you he was like send that shit back man she like yeah. that's what happened he yeah. really he was he wanted you um, and, he, and he went about it all wrong then Tomatoes. that's not the way to get Lyric Anderson period well, try again mom she's the best that's the question and I got somebody you can call <laughs> <laughs> after Lyric said what she said about the brother I said well maybe he can make this right with me and then his whole attitude was like it ain't, I didn't do nothing who the fuck did something if you didn't <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who said to me we don't do payments over here cash $164,000 Mm. Now we know what's the car cost. I thought it was 170. I just want you to know. Like he was a big you're the, you're the greatest of all time. Shit. This show is called This show is called The God Show. It stands for Ghosts and Underdogs. You are the GOAT. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you're okay. Anytime you're in Atlanta, you are welcome here. Please come see us. We would love to talk. I just want to talk hot topics with you and just right. hear what you got to say. <laughs> you would love her. I'm I love, love your mom. Down. I got you. I just, I, all right, baby. Bye. Hey, you're on speaker still, but go ahead. You got to warn people like my mama. <laughs> Girl, I, I told the same story you did. <laughs> she did not say that. So you she did not say that. that. Mama said, I didn't say you could tell me what. You weren't getting that car. I did. No, I said that I said that we kept waiting like two weeks, a week, a month. Now I didn't say you kept, but I'm the one said, let's call you. Love you, bye-bye. So yeah, so well, now we know that. Mom theory and Ray theory was the same. Oh my God. He bought you something with the hopes that he was going to be together. He figured out you wasn't going like to give this theory. He, he figured out you wasn't <laughs> going to give him none. I think it's a truth. And then he, his brother, and they was like, I'm telling you, bro, can I tell you something? I'll tell you something. I, I was in a relationship with my first real girlfriend. I bought a, I bought a big house for us, right? My first, my second house I bought for us. Mm-hmm. I bought a, my Camp Creek house. I bought a big house for us and I bought a new Benz cash. And I just knew I was going to be on Coast Street. 
I just knew it was going to be like, now you will leave me the fuck alone now. Like, let me go right. live my life. Mm-hmm. You got a big ass house to furnish and go do all that. This motherfucker was on my ass. You got to go now. That's what you did. That's why I broke up with her. Because it's like, damn, like, what, the, what can a motherfucker what buy for that you right? that's going to make you leave me alone? What can a man buy for a woman to say, I'm in love with you? You can't buy you a house. You asked two different questions. You, you said, did. what can I buy a woman to make her leave me alone? You want the woman that you're with to leave you alone. No, 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 I wanted her, no, no. I wanted her to let me go be free. Because it's free, like, right? Free to, to cheat in a relationship. No, 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 no. Free I'll, to cheat in peace. No, no, that's what you okay, want. No, no, no. That's what it means. Well, that's what that's kind of. Yeah. That is 100%. What Benzino well, did. I miss Benzino. What Benzino did. Damn. That's Benzino right there. Like, hey, you know what? I might have been right. But I just felt like. Don't be in a relationship. You want to do you. Is that no, literally that simple? I read a book that says, I read a book. It's called 16, 17 Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Everybody, I suggest y'all read it. One of the, the things that separate poor people from rich people yeah. is that poor people think either or, rich people think both. Why can't I have it all? I want it all, God damn it. I work hard enough to have it all. And I should have saying it all. This forever. It and I wanted it all at that him. moment, and she didn't let me have it. So I told her to get the fuck out the house. And guess what the crazy part she said? It's a, it's a nigga down in the studio. Guess the crazy part she said? She said to me after I broke up with her, because she caught me cheating, she said to me, she said, I should have stayed with you because at least you was ambitious and wanted to be somebody because I married another nigga that didn't want to be nothing but a nigga in the army and the nigga still cheated. So she I did not che- say that out her mouth. I swear to God I would she did. never give a man that type of satisfaction. Absolutely not. I don't care if so I was over here. Nope, absolutely so not. Mm-mm. Yep, that sure is. Y'all you I make single no sound nigga. bad. I'm single because I'm picky, first of all. I don't, you don't, just because people want you don't mean you want them. It's got to be a connection. It's not all about just, oh my God, he has so much money. Now he wants to put me up and go cheat. No. No, that's I a said lonely go cheat. life for no, one. I said go cheat. I said go handle my business. I said go handle my business. You be, ain't say go handle your business. I said go do what I got to do. Leave me alone. But I'm going to speak for the women. A man can, be, a, a man can have a lot of money and yeah. have you in a nice crib and be taking care of stuff and always gone and doing him and with the other girls and you land there at night. Lonely, still mm. watching Pornhub. Our, our, like, fam- our famous, our famous male leader, Future said, "Do you want to cry in a Nissan leader? or a fucking Phantom?" I think Meek. Said well, it. I think that no, a woman that. should cheat on you, and you should decide where you're gonna cry and see how that's that like feels. saying, "Should I cheat on you with a broke nigga or a rich nigga?" Yeah, right? exactly. That's what it's giving. He better be rich. All right, because because because. <laughs> you and him gonna be you and him gonna be living in his mom's house. She's a Sagittarius secretly. <laughs> no, she's your query. Yeah, she is. Not okay, so let's, get, let's wrap it up. I'll oh, go ahead, Tamir. I'm okay. done. I, oh, I just sorry, I just want to say this. I'm sorry this happened to you. Right. What happened to me? I wish that, I'm sorry that it happened, not to you. Because okay. it happened to you is a bad thing. I'm sorry this happened. Huh? We can get some good uh-huh. music out of this. No, artists. But what I'm saying is this is that I'm sorry it happened to you, but I do believe that you and the GOAT in the room, Tehran, are gonna make some great music. <laughs> talking about this Woo! i'm so excited to work with teron yeah, i'm a fan a huge yeah, fan I'm and i'm honest about it okay he is the go and period and by the way we're gonna work with you and we have no intent on having a personal relationship <laughs> you gotta throw that out no no i'm being not like like scott no i'm saying because i'm saying that because that that i'm saying that on record but i'm also saying that because i number one i believe in you and i do believe that if we don't help the good people win we're going to have a whole lot of people striving to be fucked up people because all they see is bad bitches, ignorant bitches winning. That was deep. So oh, I feel like. Fuck with that. I, I, oh, that's well, good. now y'all know. Oh, um, oh, we oh, raise this clap. Now oh, y'all know that clap. I'm on the Ray Daniels team. I, no, 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 no. Now the world knows. No, no, no. We're going to make some music. We're going to make some music. We're going to make some music. But it's not. But guys, it's not going to come out if it's not honest. Right. We're not going to make a song that's saying, I want to talk about. I just want you to be real. And what I mean by that is like, I just want you to not be afraid to say, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know why I'm mad on men right now. I don't trust men or whatever it is you feel. I don't. Exactly. All that. And you don't trust men because. Because I Because a man lied a... to you until you bought your Range Rover. Oh, by, the, by, the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. Because of life. Dying laughing. Yo, of life. Yeah, that's a part of why. So I can I ask show. you a question as a friend? What's up? Of the podcast? What's up? Friend? Just as a friend of the podcast. I'm just asking you this. What's up, friend? What happens if Prince calls me and says, Ray, I need to get on the show and tell my side? Can I do It's going to help us. It's going to help us with our ratings. <laughs> the same way I'm going to help you with Look your music. Like, do I not? Do I say to him, no, or do I say to him, I'm, it's your call right now. So if he called me, he knows you made the call. Can he tell Fuck us? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I she was no, 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 no. I got the idea. I, I got the idea. I got the idea. Tamira, I got the idea. Hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. Go ahead. I'm sparing him. Mm. It gets worse than the Range Rover. Ooh. So fuck no. 
Okay, so I cash your question. Because if we're telling sides of the stories, we'll be here now. So, why, so why don't we have him so no. come on the show with your mom? We fly your mom in, and we just do the show live with you and your mom, and let your mom grill him. That would be, that would be good TV, right? You asked me, I said fuck no. Okay, that's cool, it. Period. Period. I tried, Prince. I tried. Do you want me to stop talking to you? No. Right. Okay, no, we don't. Side. We don't. We don't want. She made me pick a side, guys. Yeah. But again, because I'm sparing the rest of the story. Right. Like, we would have the audience being like, I no, know. No, no, no. The rest of the story come out of the music. They'd be like, I know you No, lie. the rest of the story come out of the music. music. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Oh, before you get deal? out of here, yeah. the, rest of the, music, the rest of the story come out of the music. Yeah, and my love life mixed in. Yep. Yep. All of that. All that. The journey. The journey. The love, everything. The yeah, because I'm sparing the rest of the story because I don't bad mouth people we, or whatever. Y'all just ask for my range rover. By the way, by the way, by the way, I got I got an idea. I got an idea. I think in the middle of the project, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but I think there should be like these moment of pauses, like Skits. like interludes in the middle of it where we talk about certain stuff. Like maybe you and Tamira, and she's like, so girl, how do you feel about this? Like remember, when J- remember Biggie was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, where you from? Brooklyn. Boom. Like remember that on that bridge? Just shit that makes people say, because I feel like I, have a, I believe this. I think we look at the world wrong. I think people want to have a hit song when people really just want to have a hit. Hit podcast, hit meme, hit anything, mm-hmm. hit saying, hit whatever. Yeah. People just want to have a hit, right? Yeah. And I feel like uh, we're going to, this story, we're going to turn it into a hit some way, somehow. But I just want to make it where girls are like, she's the goals. And this is the best part. If we do do this, Rivington, I got you. We do this the way I have this shit set up. If we get something platinum, let's buy a Range Rover. Ooh. Oh. Notice I said if. if. They got to get that platinum. And notice I didn't say the Range Rover big one. <laughs> she might get a Velar. Damn. She might get a Velar. She might get a... Uh, the, 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 let's keep the it big. Some, I let's bought my mom a Velar. Right, she get a Velar, a Sport. Let's keep it a big. Sport. Okay. No, no, no. Like We're not saying 106 Sport. Sport. See, we're smart. And we also didn't side. say brand Wait, new. Pre-owned is just as smart, okay? No, 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 no. Now you're doing too much. No, I'm just saying, Scott. No. We got to figure it out. We got Scott, Let's buy a pre-owned. 2022. Let's pre-owned. go buy that one because it was driven already, so it's pre-owned. Let's go uh, buy that Range Rover. Uh, they gotta drop a couple of miles. They gotta drop a couple of dollars something. on it. Let's go buy that one. But point is, is that if we get a platinum record out of this, we are gonna get you one. All right, that's a y'all bit. gonna get one. Um, Aww, before we get out of here, this is the God Show, so I gotta ask you: Do you consider yourself a goat or an underdog? An underdog. Why? Because. I know that how talented I am and I haven't reached that level. Like I always feel like I'm still fighting mm-hmm. to prove myself and my talent and what I can do and what I've done. And, you know, so, yeah. All right, guys. So you heard it here. We got Lyrica Anderson. She's working on some new music. Ray's going to work on that with her in Tehran. We're going to have some hits oh coming. Let's get it. I'm excited. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Let's just God show we are out.